morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Guy, and welcome back to the Dark Pictures Anthology! This is the last one in this season of games called The Devil and Me. We've done all the other ones in the past, we've done Man of Medan, Little Hope, House of Ashes, and now The Devil and Me, and we've had The Quarry in between as well. All from the same developers, and I'm quite excited for this one because it looks like it's based on Saw, like you go into a house, some guy's torturing people, and uh, that's something that I'm just really into. I just love that kind of stuff. But the trailer looks cool, and I've been a little down on the previous ones because they just haven't lived up to my expectations. But I'm going into this one positive. More positive. I'm gonna play alone. No friends. I don't need any help to get away from a bad situation. Uh, challenging, lethal, or forgiving. I'll go for a challenge. I'm not scared! For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind, Hosea. Okay. <clears throat> Every choice has a consequence. You woke up this morning, you started to brush your teeth. That led to a different choice. Meaning that you couldn't drink your coffee straight after because it would taste like shit. Some decisions save lives. <clears throat> Some don't, I'm assuming. Others... Lead to death. A poor rat. That could be us. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, go, go, go. For a hundred miles at the top, we should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. Eighteen ninety-three. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> okay. Snake oil ointment? You arrived. Ooh, look at you, fancy lads. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Ah, uh, sure, it looks lovely. Let's check in. <laughs> okay. Great service around here. The place is booming. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Ding, ding, ding. Hello. I would like to get tortured. Try again? It's the guy you gotta do to get some service around here, huh? Top of morning. Oh. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. No. Skeletons do not lead to very good things. Excited, let's go to the fair later today. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. Let's go to the fair! Let's not wait till tomorrow morning. <clears throat> let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. Sure. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies. Hi! For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. Don't trust him. Never trust a man in a bowler hat. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. What a tash! Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. No shave Please. November indeed. Sign in here. First time Sign Chicago, away your soul. I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. I got my nails done. <laughs> oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. 
Uh, I yes. can't. I can't yes, write. The beginning of our uh, how do I? How do I pick up a pen? Ah! Uh, is is this how people do it? In order. Am I writing? A honeymoon sweet it is. Oh well. Uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Death. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, Builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Well, are you good at any of them? Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything and we will add it to your bill. I mean, I could say that I'm any of those. Dancer, singer, Thank you, Mr. Holmes. writer. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Sherlock Holmes, eh? Is Howard Holmes a real person? That sounds like a familiar name. Henry Howard Holmes, HHH. Would what I get to bring? like? Do I want some face powder or do I want some bath bath milk? Get yourself some milk. Get yourself some goose oil while you're at it. What bearing did I get? Cool. Can't see it. <clears throat> the hell is bath milk? Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. How's the marriage going? Terribly, actually. Well, let's just head up. I'm <clears throat> sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? No, they all look like shit, actually. Ding, ding, ding. All right, okay. <clears throat> Wonder what's in here. Uh, the Rathlin Suite, duh. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. <laughs> Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking Bath for- Bath milk? Something? Perhaps. <sighs> Whoa, okay, you got in there quick. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? It's a body! Be careful! <gasps> Don't move. Why are we in here? Oh God, I gotta keep calm. All right, nerves are steel, lads. Sorry. I fucked it up in the second one. Are we lost? Oh no. <laughs> God. A wrong turn, it would seem. This like a two guinea! Renovated. It's not safe. Of course. Uh huh. We, you must have missed the sign saying private. Oh, I thought it said private! We're very sorry. That means I enter have in you Italian. Falling through floors and having your brains dashed out, can I? No. Again, we apologize. <laughs> Think nothing of it. <laughs> I'm only thinking of your safety. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust him. Give me a hug, big man. Oh, this is our room. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. 
Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. <laughs> Dude, you are... I hope he's trying to get caught. No one who doesn't have anything to hide acts like that. Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Nice. Kiss this. <laughs> wow. Not very wifely of you. Hey, I'm <laughs> bullseye. You asked for it. Dude, there's domestic violence happening. Watch out. <laughs> Should I be <clears throat> frightened? If you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Here we go. <laughs> oh, dodgeball rules. I get to bring someone back in. Death. <laughs> mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. It's so weird. Anything broken? Only <clears throat> my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Oh, but not at all, my dear. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. Oh. <laughs> Is there a problem? <gasps> no. A necklace. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. <laughs> yeah, get your milk. Is that a camera? Oh. Huge fear of people watching me when they're not supposed to be. Oh, I picked a terrible job. I like those sounds. Ah! Uh, stop! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, God! I don't want those in my ears! Oh! If you're not looking at what's happening, it just sounds so bad. I'll just take a sip of my water. Ah! Uh, uh. It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? Oh, yeah. Feel my weight. Uh, open sesame. <laughs> Why are we breaking into places? Why don't well, I'm just spitting all over myself. Take a quick bath. Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Shush. Don't Shave and shit. Wait, the whole game doesn't play, take place in 1893, does it? Here I go, sauntering down the hallway. God, I'm handsome. Look how devilish I am. Oh my god, it looked right at me. Stop that. You talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. You must be talking to me. <laughs> All right, let's go get you shaved, huh? What are we looking at? Can I go in the private room again? No, I shouldn't. I'll get in trouble again. Oh, maybe I should make stupid decisions. You know what? I'm here to have fun this time. I'm not here to do things by the rules. Better not. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind then. That happens when you try to have fun. On Rathlin Road of an autumn day. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Oh my god, is this hotel changing on you? Oh, I'm getting motion sick moving the camera on my own. What's behind door number this? What? Whoa! 
Oh, I got quick reflexes. Oh my god. Dude! Marie! Oh no, her milk is gonna kill her. But instead of milk, it's acid! There you go, get that milk going. Is it just bubble bath? Oh, mother of God! That's what's gonna kill you, is the amount of suds they're about to have. They're gonna fill the room. Was that a man behind her? I could have sworn I saw somebody. Hmm, milky. Oh, don't wear the brand new necklace in the tub! Huh? Oh, Jeffy boy! Is that you, darling? Jeff? That ain't him. Oh, are we playing another game? Uh, investigate. I ain't getting killed! <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> oh, God! Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, Ow! Get away from me! My right boob! I'm not finished yet. I said get Whoa! Okay! Don't fight it. We'll only hurt more if you do. Kill him with the milk! Yeah. We're only prolonging the inevitable. <gasps> okay. What? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. I've seen your wife has had an accident. Oh, Lord. Should have bought the face powder. Oh, this place sucks. Get him! Elbow to the face! Okay, she's dead. Time to book it and save ourselves. Is this a gas chamber? Oh God, I don't think this is gonna do anything. God! Good God! Oh God! Marie! You're wasting your last death to tell him that you love him. Marie. Dude, married life sucks. <laughs> All right, nailed it. Cool, strong opening. Nailed it. Kept everyone alive. No problems. Oh, I thought that was the curator. He kind of looks like him from the back. Wait, is this- is this copyrighted music? Everything in its place. Oh, the rings are from other people! Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die, it's so I say, opulent. Uh, good man! Good man! Do you work here? I say, Jeeves! Hello. Welcome. 
to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh, oh death. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Won't you spare me over till another year? Oh yeah, show me the curator, baby. <laughs> Back at it again. Yeah, baby. Give it to me. Give me that sweet dialogue. Hello? Dude, you dropped your feather. Oh. You're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome to my repository. A vast collection of stories that are dark, frightening, horrific. I am the curator. His facial capture is nuts. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over What about the last tales. couple of times I came back? And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create, and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. YouTube videos. That's me. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions, delight, Inspiration, desire, yes, hunger, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. That's they the give key. glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. Oh. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. That character model I is can't interfere. crazy. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. A doubloon. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Hmm. Well, shall we start? Absolutely. I will be <clears throat> watching. The game is afoot. Isn't that what Holmes says? We have a Holmes. My name is Kate Wilder. <clears throat> I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket of Hands. And, uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. <laughs> hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Mark, Mark Nestor. Mark it's <laughs> Ethan and Mark uh, yeah, merged together. Uh, <laughs> I've been a key group in light. Hey, she's years. back. See a problem. Light it. She was in previous games. You don't often meet someone like <clears> that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Are these dating tapes? Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnit, UK originally. Uh, Charlie Lonnit! The last series was so on track, it was, uh... That's my was guy very, right there, Charlie Lonnit! Beautifully conceived and, um... Didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. Hit it, put it, hit it, put it. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. It's a bit of a mess. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? 
Oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. Ow! Oh! I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Sure, sure. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill <laughs> what does my he look like Mark? cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, I think it will. Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. Hmm. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left it's behind, just following his path from city to city. The number grew I send a Jew to <laughs> nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? I think or did he was he just a psychopath. Want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again. Other that Jessie Buckley, she's a great actress. Sure. What do you think? Oh, I think it's great, Charlie. Apparently <laughs> these lot don't. To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Pilot what? That can only be good things. Lonnie Entertainment. Charles Lonnie, please. Speaking, Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. Mm-hmm. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. I'm assuming we took the job. The <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. A limousine! What are we fancy living here, lads? Mr. Dumet send you. We... Open right. up the boot, will you? Just load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes it all glowy. Oh, God. This is going to be grand, people. I don't trust this. Adventure. Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Well, of course, <laughs> I don't trust this. It's a bad guy. I love that. Woohoo. Road trip. Do we know Can't where fucking wait. Exactly? You don't like surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. What the me, fuck I told you about mentioning no fucking pocket, Topeka again? Phone and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was a hundred percent your fault because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich. He's a recluse. He's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sure. Of course I did. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. 
While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that may share information that can affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. Sounds like you guys need some paperwork in place. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. This is going to be wicked. I believe that it's going to be fine. Don't even worry about it, folks. So I'm assuming the guy driving us is just like a full on copycat of Holmes. If this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? I don't think we meant to see his face. No, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. <laughs> Jackass. I'm going to end up getting all of you killed, and I apologize okay. now. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. And we can frame up over the mist. Mm -hmm. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Oh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. That'll be no fucking problem. Don't even worry about it. Charlie fucking Lonnie. I'm Ronnie fucking Pickering. You guys ever seen that video? It's like, you who? Ronnie Pickering. Who's that? It's me. <laughs> Ronnie fucking Pickering. Up we go! <clears throat> Alright, how do you fellas want to die? Spliced over this fence? Falling and smashing your head on the rocks? Hurry up! We're on it! Fit as a butcher's dog, love! Here I go! Piss off, crow! Why does this run animation look so wonky? <laughs> I feel like I'm 16 years old. Jesus, Whoa! Loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, so You're in it in person. Head. He's fucking mad. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. This place is cool Anything looking. Anything for the shot, right? Anything for the content. It doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm going to say we trusted and not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. Yeah. I'm with him. Hiya! Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be looking for coins and stuff, aren't I? Mr. Mark, I just wanted to say, um... Thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging to work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we did. For some reason, his Mark's voice is really familiar, but the face is not connecting with me. His voice is super familiar. Maybe I've just watched like a... Okay. I won't lie, I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime since space wait, wait, to wait, decompress. Wait, wait, downtime? Wait, wait. Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. Why would anyone want to relax when you could be running up and down cliffs? It's way more fun. In memory of the victims That's of the Great the Storm, 1907, which is... T 187 lives! The crew and passengers of the SS Cassiopeia 
were which crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. Let's just say I'm glad we're running around and not in the boat. Oh, these environments are great. This lighting is nice. See that there, Mark? It's the sun. If you look into it, you go blind, you will. So now look into it, all right? Hiya! Oh, careful, tetanus. I have a lighter. Hey, that did Brett, nothing. Sick a couple weeks out. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post tomorrow. <laughs> you just said you needed it. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? The Lonnet closet. Married to the job. Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> Married to the job. Okay, whoa, 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 Charlie Lonnet! Whoa, easy there, buster. Easy there, boy -o. Come on over, Mark, it's no problem. If Charlie Lonnie can do it, then anyone can do it. Is he just gonna appear? Oh no, he's actually doing it. There you go! Ah! <laughs> Got him. We call that a Lonnet prank. Easy does it. I've seen Kratos and Atreus do this a million times. Jesus! Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin. You know, just hanging out. Yeah, that's Maybe normal. Some old museum display or something. Super right. normal. That's probably it. Yeah, really normal, cool stuff happening right now. God, that sucked. Almost made Lunnit jump out of his bunny. <laughs> Help me up. Charlie Lunnit, not Superman. Nice. Good job, Mark. We did it. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, I want to get inside Mark's head again. Would you like to hear a story? It's about two guys up in the cliffs studying shit. Yeah, over there. Or maybe it's right here. <laughs> you coming? Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. <laughs> Clink. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly. We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Okay. I don't know how that fits into anything of what you guys were saying, but sure. A bit of exposition never hurt anybody. Oh, this looks so cool. I feel like I'm playing Silent Hill. Hey, Charlie Lullet, James Sutherland. Here we go. I'm gonna bust out this lighter so quick to see nothing. Ah, in here it's much better. What's this? this? hasn't been manned in ages. Why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. Okay. Got it, got it. I can't even remember what date the game is taking place in right now. Read, please! Wait, how do I... Can you? I didn't press anything. He just put it down. How do I get you to actually show? There you go.
Keep it up, team. This should be the final week. Last night's foghorn test was successful. Looks like the automation is all up and running. We'll do one final trial today, and then we can pack away the kit. A couple of you have reported that the homeless guy hanging around again. We're going to be bumping up securing the compound and conducting final checks today and tomorrow just to be on the safe side. Don't want anyone getting injured. Other than that, the work's been great all, all project. So let's keep up the pace and we'll be out here by the end of the week. T.S. Elliot. Okay. It's locked on this side as well. Fair enough. Head now. See something you like? I see something I like. This log. Oh. It's like I'm still a teenager. Yeah, easy does it now. Easy does it. You don't want to get a scratch. Uh-huh. Oh, here we go. God, I love the ground. I love how it smells. Hi. So far, nothing bad has happened. I got scared by a mannequin and shit myself, but... I have a change of underpants. Feel my weight! That's Charlie Lunnett power. This really feels like Silent Hill. Maybe Supermassive should have got a chance to do a Silent Hill game. This looks pretty old. Wait, what do I have? Charlie can use his tight clip to open lock boxes. Apparently. You What's that? Just some old coin. It's an oval. By the penny. Get up. I don't think you're able to just open up a lockbox like that. Yeah. I think it's far trickier Sorry, than you're making it seem. Time. Now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. The Lonnet Bonnet. That's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. There we go. There we go. Joel and Ellie could never. In we go! Video games! Okay. Maybe we'll just push it a tiny bit further over. Yeah, don't worry, Mark. No, I got it. No, yeah, no, I got it. It's cool. Don't even worry about it. I'll get in on my own. Oh! Can you just climb on the fucking bin and get in the window? Thank you. Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> there was no breaking. Christ, what the hell is that? I don't know, but apparently I should hide from threats. Ooh. This is way more involved, like the actual mechanics are way more involved than they used to be. Nice to meet you too. What was that? Some sort of badger. Coming out of his badger hole. This thing's like pissing, eh? Ah, uh, the anatomy of man. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. You got the metatarsals. Yeah, you got the rib cage. Yeah. You got a boat and the rocks, baby! Boom! That's what you look like if your boat hits the rocks. You'll see the insides of you and the outsides of you. All right, back it on up. Maybe I'll look in the fridge and see a nuclear bomb go off in a downtown area. Or not. 
Premonition unlocked. Fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Can, can I go in? No? You may be Charlie Lunnett, but you're not too quick, are you? Is this supposed to be the hotel that we're going to? I gotta say, I'm not feeling too hot about this place. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. Oh, really? What was it, Mark? Was it the dead animals on the wall? Because I look at this guy. They're just hanging out. What in God's name is this? It's mechanical. Ah. It moved. What? The thing. It moved. So did my heart. Skipped out through my mouth. I think we should leave before we get some sort of infection. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on. Get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. You couldn't set up your tripod? Oh, that's where we're going. Look, it's all right. Come on, we better get back. Worth it for the shot, baby. Worth it for the content. That him? I don't know. We just had the one call. How did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Yup. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin. <clears throat> Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Please do met you. Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. I'll explain everything when you're dead. Oh, look at this. The forklift of the ocean. I still don't know what animal that was that I saw. Heard. <clears throat> Maybe I should have let it kill me just so I could see it. I've got like five other characters to play with. Lovely place you got here. Also, did he say his name is Grantham Dumet? What a name. It sounds like Grant unto them death. Or something. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Who's your friend? Stick together. Who's your friend in the is yellow jacket? Is it here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Annoyed or playful? I like to be playful in my life. Try not to cough up a lung, Charlie. Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what People. he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. 
You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just <laughs> go. Come on, just Mark, get into the dilapidated camera, house camera. covered in razor wire and spikes. What's there to worry about? Leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talk into camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumat. Discretion is Lonnie Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a tech then. Apart from that ocean it's right behind you. Ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And Sound speed! Action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' Reign of Terror. Look at this I'm camera to the work. House right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. Hey, at least we got a sick Just opening shot. Shots, right? Obviously. Hiya, Georgie! Oh, what a nice boat! Do you want a bag? Mine too! Mr. Dumet <laughs> is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to go look around without him knowing. A man is entitled to his privacy. He's caging. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Los oh, Angeles. No. Oh my, damn it. What happened? You okay? Oh. Did you get your baby ego again? <laughs> we should get her up to the hotel. Oh my God, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up in Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. <laughs> Do you have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. <laughs> you don't need to know. Again. Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. It was breaking stuff that doesn't belong to us. You know what? If something bad happens to us, we kind of deserve it. We're traipsing in people's property where we shouldn't be. Oy, 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 oy. What's your run cycle like? <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Here I go! <laughs> you know, straight answer. You know, you're making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. <clears throat> Fine. I okay, should. Tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? A stiletto shoe missing a heel. You have all the space on screen, and that's the size of your text? What is this? A text for ants? Maybe. There's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. Do 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 I found a doubloon! Aha! Nice. A sweet little toonie. Private property! Keep out! Okay, I'll go in. <laughs> this sign can't stop me because I can't read. Look how cool I look! Dude, I'm happy for you, or sorry that happened, but I ain't reading all that. Hiya! Dog, I got the speed of ten men. Ha! Ah! Watch your head. You watch your head. I've got a beanie on. Hits you in the head, bonk, lights out. Dude, I'm climbing in so many windows. 
Oh, I thought that was open. Never mind. I'm climbing in no windows. Excuse me. The door's locked. This kind of shit would never happen to Charlie Lonnit. Excuse me. Don't mind if I uh, scoot right by. You could have told us to dress for a trek. Ooh. Hiya! <laughs> Epic. I feel like Nathan Drake. You ever play Uncharted? Try not to fall and die. I'll Thanks try, but no guarantees. Time. Thanks for the concern. <clears throat> really. Okay, easy. Easy to- Oh, hey, hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, oh, 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 hey! Nailed it. Agile like a fox. All right, what's in here? What are we doing? Oh, a tram. Wonder where this goes. It's straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? A train station. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> you guys are really going above and beyond. <clears throat> Live out here on this island? Get Ooh. down with your family? My wife is. Oh, oh, shit. Blended in perfectly. Sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Come on. We're about to. Oh. They didn't see us. Let's go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. Except us. Why does my eye keep watering? Did I get something in it? Or is this emotional experience just really getting to me? Sneaky does it. Careful now, don't bonk your head. Don't fall over and die. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, this looks so cool. Okay, I'm getting into this house one way or the other. That's locked, but look over here. Watch this. I need so many splinters. You can't break and enter if there's nothing to break. Ew! Uh, Jesus! Ah! Yeah! Gross! Don't touch it. Don't even breathe it. Do 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 do. I am so sneaky. I heard you were looking for a new place. Oh, here we go. Not Wait, is that the other lady? No, that doesn't look like any of my crew. That wasn't Charlie Lonnet, was it? I don't know if I can handle it if something happens to him. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on, don't... shimmy with Jimmy just yet. Mediterranean? Cruise. Looks like Dumet has a family. Huh. A photograph of Dumet with a woman and child. Oh, that looked like... That premonition I just saw looked like that woman. Actually. Hold on. This place is secret central. What? What? Bird spotting. A spotter's guide to birds at the British Isles. Okay, I can't- guess I can't do anything else. I'm coming out! Hoi 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 hoi! Hoi oh! Are we gonna open this thing? Oh god. Maybe this- You're trusting that! wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. 
This shit is not in my job description. And yet, here we are. A doubloon! Oh, the pirate treasure is mine. Why do they all look the same? What do you think I can get for those? I think I can sell them? Melt them down? Make a metal out of them? Anything over here? And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, hop! Hop! Yeah, you really are not dressed for this. Trying to do all of this in tight jeans? No, thank you. God, I'm such a little nosy. Okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. Okay. Have at it, MacGyver. I'm just gonna climb this ladder and see what's up here. Maybe I'll find doubloons. Ah, there's something here. I knew it. There's a doubloonies. Money. Ah, oh, this one looks different. Nice. I got a school one. Hey, whatever your name is, I got a school one. Pretty cool. Oh, that counted as more. Dude, I'm gonna buy myself a moped with all of these. <clears throat> nice. Just like Dark Souls. You wanna fight the boss with me, co op? Maybe we can get this thing working. Did the power come on? I thought you said you Jamie, were going to figure this out. Can you fix this? <clears throat> Jamie. Okay. Press to equip the multimeter. Oh. Okay, so... This has to go to there, to there, to there, all the way down like that, but how do I know... Oh no, this one has to go that way as well. How do I know which way is which? The wiring here is ancient. Follow the arrows and don't go out of sequence unless you want to trip the whole system. Oh, so I just do... like this. Gotcha. Don't want to trip the whole system. Wait, so do I do this one and then... Yeah, like that. Boom! Boom! Electrician, baby! Man of all trades! I could have said jack of all trades, but... <clears throat> God, if genius had a face, it would be me, Kate. Hiya! <laughs> I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please. Carry me up on the train. I can't think of anything that rhymes with train. Refrain. David Blaine. <laughs> What's through here? <clears throat> Hear that? Uh oh, it's Georgie. I gotta hide behind the rock. <laughs> I see his face. What if Holmes isn't dead at all? What if the guy who's copying him actually looks exactly like him? Who are you? Maybe we should follow him. Maybe he's got doubloons. Anything around here? Lock it. God damn it. I wonder what these are. Hazardous substance. What does the note say? 
can't pick it up. What kind of hazardous substance though? Is it bath milk? Okay, nothing back this way. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go up over the wall. Hiya! And uh hiya! Why is it always this way around? Let's switch up. Let's go back and forth. Maybe I'll pull you up sometime. Teamwork. Nice converse though. Hey. Oh. Oh god, that's so much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. It's on a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Gumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful <coughs> eye of Mr. Dumet, please. I feel like Dumet is just... What do you think? Under someone's control. A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Like, some other guy is like, tell them what to do, and Dumet's like, Please don't kill me! You guys have to do what I say, please! Coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. I don't trust anyone who isn't. I also hate oh, when shit. people do that. We're all gonna die. Just go. <laughs> oh my God! Relax, Mark. You is a asshole. Stop! You good? No! Oh, man. Want a piggyback ride? You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it Traits updated. What do I have? Kate is ambitious. Erudite. Bold. Anxious. The fuck does erudite mean? Having or showing great knowledge or learning. Ken could turn any conversation into an erudite discussion. Erudite? <clears throat> I don't know how to pronounce that. Erudite. That was Char- oh, Charlie and Kate. Th that sure is them. There's Jamie and Kate. And let's hold on for Aaron and Kate! Though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable ish. Can people stop jumping up and down on Come it? Come on, I'll help. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. Shrek! I'm looking down! Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Uh Can't have a, Where is everyone? a soft oh, moment is, between uh, each other. City folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. What are you bringing in? Hmm. Seems like all of our characters are right where we need them to be. It's so weird to see the recreation of the hotel here, on the middle of the water. <clears throat> this, wow. Mr. Dumas, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Oh? Hello. Hello. I wonder who you are. Is that the kid from the what picture? What are you doing? I, I saw a little girl. Up there. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. <laughs> sure. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. 
He looks so frazzled. What's going on, dude? You good? This is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? You're signing away your life. This isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I'll, I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? You sure did. <laughs> I told you. You sure did, Charlie. I never doubted Charlie Lunny. Not for one minute. I've always had faith in him. It's a lamp! Ah! <laughs> 0178. What is that? That's the body that I saw in the premonition. Oh, there you are. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out in a battle day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. <clears throat> And still nothing. I ain't talking to you, old lady. <laughs> well, she's not dead, at least. She looked dead in the premonition. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god! I think I peed a little. <laughs> How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Mm. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said... This place does give me the willies. It's, um... It's unique. Are you... Singing. Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Doesn't really work. I'm sorry, what? 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. <laughs> I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? There's Why lots to be scared of. While I unpack, then I can help you find your room. Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a haul, dude. You're the one who said we should buddy up because you might get lost, and now you're like, it's just a haul. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, barb. Um, at least we don't have the double up like last time. Like one of those capsule hotels. I don't want to be disappointed. I'm playful. Mm, cozy is fun. <clears throat> if we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. I'm not <laughs> sure I ever told you that. <laughs> Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. <laughs> oh. I was going to say that as a joke. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Why don't you like her? Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows what you know. 
What is that? Wine. Genius. Several oh, hundred year I old feel wine. Like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah. He does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't. Cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. No. You're so clumsy. <laughs> wanna share mine? Gotta stick on my own if you wanna share a lip cooties. Thanks, but I can find mine. You're probably gonna get your hand bitten off by a bed tiger. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? You probably just pulled the bed out. Oh my god, so much dust. You okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? Shit. No. Revenge, because good job. Aaron can use- oh my god, yes! Finally, I feel seen in a video game! Inhaler, gang! That was a Ventolin inhaler? Since when do you have asthma? Since when did you have asthma? Since I was born. My meds are good. It's normally not a thing. I just need to be more careful of things like dust and pollen and getting the shit scared out of me. Basically everything. I'm an asshole. You didn't know. It's fine. Promise. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. Dude, having asthma is like a superpower. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cozy. When it gets cold and dusty, I can't breathe well. Don't drink dust cupboard wine. You gonna try that? Ugh. And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Piquant. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. <laughs> Tastes like wine. I'm f I, oh. There's I an oaky afterbirth. Strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat socks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. <laughs> I'm flirtatious. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. <laughs> I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, I, yeah, it's just... We work together and... Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Uh, uh. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um... Move in. Go in for the kill. What are you doing? I, oh my god, I, uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was. That's a dick a move. move. That's a dick move. Don't do that. Oh god, the birds are watching. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Smooth. Who is that? It's Tom, and he's peeping. Charlie Lunny! Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room. And I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. 
thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You got ten minutes. You got ten minutes and not a moment okay. sooner. We'll okay. Be down in a few then. Get your fucking shit together and then meet you downstairs. Oh, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Oh, to be continued. To be continued, then? Yes, definitely. That's what it's all about. Good luck finding your rooms. Oh, the door didn't close. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't get your lip balm either. That's not gonna get all moldy down there. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Son of a bitch. They're getting out of here fast because they know we're all about to die. Where the hell are they going? Time to get hammered. <clears throat> oh, two-way mirror. Wait, somebody's caught already? Oh lord, he's making dolls of people. Great start to the day. Is it the lady from the start of the game? Oh my god, is he taxidermy them? Oh, we saw bits of that as the bird. They set well, off to Charlie's bedroom. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I think she thought it might help with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed. Okay. <laughs> I'm not so stressed. I'm not fucking stressed. Uh. That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. Oh, my God. It even has a watermark. You old guys love business cards. Old school. You old school guys. <laughs> I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Nice. Damn. I should have had one ready for me. Really day. like Patrick Bateman. Did you find them? I no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. Oh, Jesus. I don't understand. Be methodical or desperate. I don't want to be desperate. Do I look desperate? I'm Charlie fucking Lonnie. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. Methodical. It's a blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. Also, I Go found on, out Charlie. that he's in Go Game on. of Thrones. Just like that. Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. The... my controller vibrates on my lap all the time. Uh, <laughs> let's just get on with things. Details matter. I don't want to be frustrated. I'll sh it's fine. Let's just get on with things. Wooza! Wooza! This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Why is it my job? Or her job? I'm Charlie Lonnie now. It should be your responsibility, Charlie. If you need cigarettes that badly, maybe you should pack them yourself. Maybe you have some in your pocket. Maybe you have some in your fucking jacket. I don't know. Why are you gonna get in Erin's ass just cause she not got cigarettes in your blue bag? Huh? It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? Well, you know, I have a spare cap. I have a spare cap. You have a spare cap? You have a spare set of headphones? <laughs> All right, yeah, the no. The scope of this place is... I can't believe we've looked into this. Wee! Here we go! Are you that we'll make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. 
can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. Grantham oh, no, Dumet, exactly. architect. Exactly, that's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. Ha! You Whoa. think we'll get another season? Look at Let Grantham's carriage. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly and I'll make sure you keep working. Let's have um, another we'll... look at uh, Grantham's carriage. The subtle lining, the embossed colors, that golden print. Very nice. All right. Yeah, and I knew H.H. H. Holmes was really familiar. That was an actual serial killer in America. I knew it. It sounded so familiar. And then as soon as I put up the episode, everyone was like, Jack, it's a real serial killer. He's to he kill a lot of people. He's not going to kill Charlie Lunnett, though. I'm going to make sure that we survive to the very end. Every time I think of an accent like that, I think of, like, EastEnders. Anybody? Okay, I have a very substantial American audience, like 60 to 70% of my audience. You're not gonna know what EastEnders is, but if you're British, Irish, maybe outside of that, you'll know exactly what EastEnders is. A fucking doubloon! What's she got in it this time? It's got a little badger, or a bear. But every time I think of that accent, I just think of, like, Phil Mitchell from EastEnders. Oi, Phil! What you want from me? Or, like, I don't know. Anybody <laughs> that's British, I guess? Just be Jason Statham for the whole thing. I'm Charlie Lunnett. I'm getting through the World's Fair Hotel. And I'll kick you in the face. Okay. So Grantham Dumet is just the architect of the building, and he has nothing else to do with it. Good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me. It seems we have a mutual interest. I have spent several years constructing the ultimate homes tourist experience by faithfully recreating the World's Fair Hotel. We have not yet opened to the public, as they are not finished in touches to complete, and I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight that is invaluable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. The experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests, so I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. I must insist that this invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced, so please only invite guests that you can trust to do so. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to confirm your attendance and the four additional guests that you would like to bring. Should you accept the limousine, we'll pick you up. Ah, I see. That's what we did. Got it. Got it. Charlie Lone. Charlie Lone. It's got it. Gonna do it. Gonna do it. Gonna kill the serial killer. <laughs> Come on, Aaron. You're a sound engineer. You should know. Hey, Charlie. Bars when you hear I them. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Aaron, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry. Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. See, now, I, you've got a British accent, Charlie, so I that sounded different. An assistant. an assistant? Pay your dues versus pay your dues? Idea, Charlie. I'm an just... Doesn't sound good. A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I no, a fucking magician's assistant. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. No, Aaron, I was being... Hey, I was trying to demolish you emotionally. Office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget. And big stars. Doors of keyholes could be I mean, unlocked using keys. We have to understand. Oh. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth, is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. <laughs> so you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? I'd like to direct a movie. That'd be dope. I have ideas. Who's making all that racket out here? Hitting a bell? Who signed in? Is it us? 
Kurt Hall. Brad Fisher. I should just read this one. All right, cool. Doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sure if you... Ooh, there's key. Jackpot. Aaron. Bing pot. Is there something else over here I could interact with? Nope. Look at me with my lighter. You're gonna burn your thumb. Also, isn't that a Zippo? I don't think you need to hold your thumb on the top of it like a regular lighter. You just fatush, and then it goes. I can do tricks with a Zippo. Bet you didn't know that. I don't smoke, never have, but it was like a cool party trick. If anyone had one, I was like, fucking, and I could just open it like that, and everyone was like, <gasps> Well done! It made me look like I smoked a lot, but... <coughs> I have asthma. That you could open up things with your cards. Bing pot! Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift yep. shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Mm. The gift shop might have cigarettes, and if they have cigarettes, then you'll be able to buy them. And if you buy the cigarettes, I'll be able to smoke them, and then I'll stop being such an unbearable asshole. Yes, Aaron, yes! Alright. Hello? Any ciggies? Oh, hey. Oh my god. Mr. Dumet? This looks like, uh, The Shining. Wow. Mr. Grady? An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. No. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? You have a gin and tonic? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Barman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> oh! No fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. I'll make sure to give you a tip. Don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> what else we got? You have a lighter. Light some candles. Miss Kelly Schroeder. Once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. Um, what company is this? In honor of them, I've spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I'm proud to say that we are almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony. I promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you will agree that all of your hard work was worth it when you enjoyed the unique hotel experience. That's like getting a gift card for putting in way too much work. It's like, thank you guys so much for crunching for a year and a half to make sure that our product got to launch. As a reward, we would like to gift you two hours of a movie in the break room. You deserve it. <laughs> yes! We are in fucking yes. business! It carries cash. Exact change. Damn it. I don't have any cash on me ever anymore. For like the last four years, I don't think I've had a single piece of cash anywhere. Oh, let me just rob the place real quick. He's not going to attack me, is he? Is he going to. Am I going to grab this and he's going to go, What are you doing, Dumet? <laughs> Locked. Damn it. <gasps> but my business card! The subtle embossed lining on it! Nice. Ah, fuck. Ah! <laughs> Next round's on me. 
Promise. Technically, it's on the house if you're stealing. So much easier. Where was I supposed to bang it? That in my jacket pocket. Could have had my filthy habit. Damn it! Find a way to get the cigarettes out of the dispenser. What? No. No, please. I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Why can't you rap on the side of it again? Like, why was it a timed thing? You can- You have all the time in the world to smack a machine around. What do you think, Mr. Grady? Your son has been a very naughty boy. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Uh oh. <gasps> you don't hear those footsteps. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. Uh oh. He's gonna get garroted around the neck. Antique rubbish. Charlie Lunnett, look out behind you! Give me my cigarette! Charlie! It's AJ right. Holmes! That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip. And they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. How? And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. <laughs> are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Okay, we'll just never answer that. For all you know, Aaron, I was in there with a friend. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Fucking hell. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I don't deserve this. Oh. Hey. I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? <laughs> I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Hey. It just wasn't the right move, okay? The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I'm an auteur. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. But... You look good in any light. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Ark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. We're hitting the golden hour, let's go! <laughs> Before we... Look, can I say something? We agreed that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. The breakup is harder than I thought. Um... Yeah, let's dig a little deeper, huh? Scab's open! Let's bleed all over the place! I can't... This is just proving harder than I thought. I don't want to be the one to- And I quote, 
to accept the reality that this did not and will not work. Sound familiar? Just because I said it doesn't mean I want to accept it. So try harder. Kate didn't like that. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Also, I don't know if filming indoors, even with a skylight, is the right way to get natural daylight. Let's find a way up there. Unless this skylight covers the entire ceiling. Use my camera to search for photo opportunities. The camera's reticle will change color when aiming. my shit and crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's. This is how I take pictures. Said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, just saying. Okay. You want to get you want to get flashbanged? Sleeping on the couch in the <laughs> studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right. Okay. Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. The door's open, and you were standing next to it. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, oh. it makes for some weird ass rules. Oh, that was my flash, not the camera. So since we can't do it tomorrow, <laughs> is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? So artistic. So artistic. You guys are going to love these shots. I can't move around. I have to like get into position and then take the shot. Take the shot! What else do we want pictures of? You know what, screw this, I want to take photos. This is way more fun than listening to you berate me about our breakup. Am I crazy or did we not come from this direction? Nope. Probably came from that room right there that's open. Anything in my room I can take a picture of? Oh my god, why are you breathing so loud? Do you have asthma as well? What's this? Uh huh. From the good times. Chicago, 19. Oh, I still carry the picture everywhere with me. There, I'll just put it back on the floor. <laughs> That's where I like to keep my memories. Close to the earth. Oh yeah, this is a good shot right here. Look at this. Can I... Can I, like, change some camera settings or something? Ah, there we go, I can zoom in and out. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, coming! Hold on, I can't see where I'm going. Alright, found it. <laughs> found the stairs! Ooh, look at that. That's a cool painting. Hello? That's lovely looking. Back here. That's a murder table! You should know a murder table when you see one. You've seen a movie, right? Take a picture of it. Take a picture. Oh. Really? You can... <laughs> you can have the camera face itself? <laughs> what is this? Okay, I have, I have no depth of field slider. Maybe if I get really close. Nope, I just have to be focused on the door. Okay. Good photography there, my dude. So glad to have you on the team. Hold on, I want to get a selfie. <laughs> Did I shave today? Hmm, a bit of stubble there. <laughs> Are you saying this? Oh. Beautiful angle. Hmm. Why? What? What kind of lens do you have on this that you can't focus on that from that distance? Oh. Beautiful. I did say it would change color when I can actually take a picture of something. Oh yeah, there's the money shot right there. Oh, the feet. <laughs> this is going on my blog. Hmm. 
So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we, we should take care. Probably. Did I bust the door down? Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh. Ah! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. <laughs> you and me both. Was he the devil? The truth behind America's first serial killer. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers, and none have intrigued him more than H.H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing, separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? Was he the devil? Asher, I don't know. I didn't even know him. There was a big gash in the table. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Oh. Rebel. <laughs> no, just pure ADHD and boredom. What was it gonna do? Listen? <laughs> no, 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 no. I vandalized. Hold on. Photo hold on. I'm in the shot. I'm in myself. Photo up. There you go. Now the depth of field is working. Hey, look this way! Beautiful, beautiful. Artistic. What's this? There's no way in hell I would not touch the buttons on that. I'd be touching everything in here. Secret book. Mark can extend his monopod to reach high objects. Hell yeah, Mark! Boof. Oh, nice. If that had hit the floor, we never would have been able to read it. Births, deaths, marriages. Mr. and Miss, Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Spring announced the birth of their daughter, Marilyn, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son, Maurice, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. On behalf of their daughter, Lucinda Munday, ground, or <laughs> ground prank parents, George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announced the birth of their grandson Hector Whalen on June 11th at White Oak Hospital. I'm assuming one of these is a killer in the making. I don't know. None of those names are familiar. Mm. I don't want to check out this room first. I'm afraid the other room will progress me too far and I won't be able to come back. Paper. That's a shot right there. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. Can you get out of my shot? I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Get out of the way! My god. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Thank you. I just want to get Rod my photos. Gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? Since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Yeah. Probably because there's rotten Old bodies house. somewhere. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. It's dead as heck. Look at you. I'm getting a picture of you looking at art. Uh, caught you picking your nose! Ha ha ha! Everyone point and laugh! Ha ah, silly nose picker! There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Use your monopod. Take a picture of it. Put the flash on. Mm -hmm. How am I ever gonna get in there? There's gotta be a way through. There's gotta be a better way. Can I climb this? I want to go up. Baby one up. Oh, okay. 
Sometimes it's X, sometimes it's square. Sometimes you inspect. Sometimes you don't. Wow, the lighting here is really cool. Actually, you know what? There's plenty of windows in here. There's lots of natural daylight. Just hush my mouth. Jump it, jump it, jump it. Don't get those perfectly white runners dirty though. Ah, <gasps> secrets. I knew it. All right, here we go. There we go. You know what, Ellie? We really are the last of us. Keep your head down. Keep your head down, stay going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is artistry. People won't get it now, but in like 10 or 20 years, these pictures are going to be mint. People just don't understand my stylings yet. See, this guy gets it! Where is that camera? Is it hidden in the wall? Do you think he's worried now? There, evidence. Oh, it's the- oh, the controls are ass on this. There you go, okay. Okay, hold on there now. There you go. Hey, God, what an artist I am. I'm painting the room with furniture. That's what a good artist does. Taking your sweet fucking time, though. <laughs> This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. Uh huh. Do I have to put the fucking thing back? Ugh. Wah, 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 wah. Wait, hold on. I gotta get a picture of how smart I am. Make sure the lighting's good. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Bit of a Dutch angle on it. Nice one, Mark. Nice one. That's why you're the head of the household. Screw Charlie. You're the one I want to follow into battle. Oh. Oh, climbing up again. There's so much climbing going on. this. Oh, strong knees. Oh yeah, this is the room I saw the key in. Turns out it's not the right key at all. Balcony! Let's go! God. Did you see that? Kate? Stay right there. That's actually really creepy looking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like the photography I'm taking. I'll go back in my room and look at all of these pictures I took like... The fuck was I thinking? <laughs> Ta-da! We made it. Whoa. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. I agree with him. I get very... like, wobbly knees, even if I'm like two flights of stairs up. <laughs> Don't worry, you look fine. What are you worried about, miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Dude, my traits are up! Dated. I am romantic, protective, sincere, passionate. I'm a tiny bit tolerant and immature, though. Like, just a little bit. I can be a little immature, and I can be a little tolerant. 
Most of the times I'm completely intolerant of everything, but I'm a little tolerant today. It's getting better. Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. That's cool. Don't touch it. <laughs> you okay? No! I just... This fucking thing... <gasps> out of nowhere. Son of a bitch! Stop yeah. it! See? Yeah. What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. Some sort of fazbear? It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. <laughs> no. -uh. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. I did all of that just to go to dinner? Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. You guys know we can all hear you downstairs, right? I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah. I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Uh, that's how directors have to be. He seems to think he owns us. Eh. Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. That piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. <laughs> Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Hmm. <laughs> I thought we'd move on together. <laughs> I can't want him to say that. He just won't let the breakup go. I guess I thought we'd move on together like a team. Oh, Mark, you mean all together. This isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect... I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. Mm -hmm. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. I told you he'd hear you. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. <laughs> Aaron puts Great. on her noise cancelling okay. headphones like, Mommy and Daddy are fighting. Teacher, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. He's a bit of a knobhead. Hello? Is that supposed to be you sewing something? Put your eyes back in, they're popping out of your head. Ooh, let's do a seance! Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. 
Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? Let's all just relax. Let's be concerned. I like a little concern going on. That's the character arc Who I want to take. show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait. What? Why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big <laughs> ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Because he wants to kill us. Stop questioning my judgment! Yeah, get angry! I'm about done with you all questioning my judgment. The man tells me he has artifacts useful to our investigation. Look around you. Did he lie? There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Blow out your voices. Why? He's not here. But. That doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are <laughs> you? know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Shit. Jamie. You She's right. trying to make this worse. You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. I found a pack of invisible cigarettes. <laughs> Is he gonna do that? I kinda want him to do that. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true Lana Entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. <laughs> well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. I would like to toast all of you. I kind of want to be hostile. <laughs> no, I'll toast. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. Oh, what about Aaron? Aaron, we would be lost without you. And Aaron lost my cigarettes. Oh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna, like, kneecap her in the streets. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. That's actually nice. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. Slauncher. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Uh, Maybe he can we still talk hear you. About it right this second. You brought it up. What was that, Kate? 
Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. <laughs> I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? Um... I'll be authoritative. Yeah, I'll be having a strong word. I'd be like, Oi, you! What's the deal? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. i love to hear that. Love it. Shouldn't take me long at all. <laughs> Great. 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 <laughs> Charlie, sitting by yourself, talking away. Uh-oh! That's some good work. Fine craftsmanship. Uh-oh. He's making a Charlie Lonnet. Uh-oh. He's gonna make dolls of all of us and have us kill ourselves. <gasps> Scary. Hello? Guys? Tiny child? Oh! That's cool! Oh, creepy! She put on nice canceling headphones and now we're listening for the sound of the crying. Oh, I hate that! Are you down here? Oh, and then she took off the headphones. That's such a neat little audio effect. Or so JP Hunter is an author and counselor who will follow a unique monthly plan. You will learn anxiety boasting. I don't care right now. Oh, maybe I'll care a little. The five for five technique. Slowly take a deep breath in, fill your lungs with air, your abdomen expands, exhale, and your abdomen contracts inwards. Or if you're like me, I had to go to a breathing therapist last year because I don't breathe properly. Because I'm an asthmatic and I try and get more air into my lungs, I, I end up breathing into my chest only, and I wasn't doing any stomach breathing, which is like you breathe into your lower, like you expand your diaphragm out down below. That's what singers and like voice actors and everybody do. You belt from your diaphragm. But I wasn't doing that. I had to do like classes and therapy sessions where I actually had to like sit and like breathe into my abdomen and breathe out. And I tried to like, reinvent the way I breathe. And I don't think I still really got it, but whenever I have to, like, breathe properly or I start getting, like, bad bad chest compressions, I have to, like, do that breathing technique. It also resets your vagus nerve, which is, like, between, like, your abdomen and your brain. It's great. Or just put your headphones on. Or, yeah, fuck me, right? Or just put your headphones on. Never mind what I just said. What were all those physical therapy sessions for? You're right. I should have just put my headphones on. Don't bang the door. It stopped. Oh, that's so creepy.
Why did it stop? Oh, I'm really freaked out now. Hello? Am I able to eavesdrop? Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. Come to ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. There's a camera in this one. The execution of H.H. H. Holmes. Oh, don't be something right behind me. Okay. I heard a door bang, though. Oh. I hate that. Did the hallways just change? Oh my god! It is just like the murder castle. The walls would like close in on one another. How's this premonition? Okay, but that's a pair of lungs. Oh, I get it, because lungs are attached to Erin because she's asthmatic, so we got to see her death in this premonition. I like it. Symbolism. But also, these premonitions never help. It's always like, here's what can happen. Do you avoid it? Do you play into it? Is it gonna happen? Am I screwed? I don't know. It's basically just like, hey, this can happen in the game, by the way, but it never shows me how to avoid it. When a guy with a knife shows up to try and kill me, don't let him kill me. Okay, got it. <laughs> Why? You're not freaking out about this? That lighting is so cool. I can see my big shadow on my face on the wall. <laughs> oh my god, so creepy. Oh, this sucks! Jesus! Okay, sorry, it's time to start running, Aaron. Run toward the danger! My don't be scared, so... Sing it, and I won't be scared, long. I'm still scared! Electrician? <laughs> Breakers. Okay, nothing fishy about that. Not at all. Ooh, nice. 
Hello? Oh, Mr. Demet? Their lighting in these games is so fucking nice. The lady looks 10 years younger, but how? Columbus Spa. <laughs> okay. Why are you turning off the light for these? I want to see. Dear American Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. Uh, Codicil? Codicil? Has been added... I've never seen that word before. Which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for their records. Please remember, you can view any of your will or life insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. <clears throat> okay, so you died. Because Mr. Belknap was the other letter I read in the bar. It's locked. Let's get out of here. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Yep. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Choices, Jamie. <clears throat> Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Uh, item name, H.H. H. Holmes authentic hat. Authentic original hat as worn by H.H. H. Holmes in famous photographs. You spent $24,000 on a hat? Maybe I could sell my Jacksepticeye hat like that. The original. Oh! We could auction up my actual Jacksepticeye hat for charity. That would be awesome! <clears throat> Dear Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. In the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Okay. All this snooping around is gonna get me killed. Or more prepared, actually. My god, all these fucking letters. <clears throat> Why are you just hiding them in random places? Mr. Belknap, following our discussion regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find an overleaf breakdown of the work. It can commence the 13th of January. It'll be done in 10 weeks. Okay. $838,000. My god. <clears throat> Actually, not as much as I expected for a property this size. Ah, there we go. Shortcuts. Shortcuts, people. Shortcuts. Rewind it! Check if there's a tape! Why are we just pressing play and that's it? <clears throat> I want more! Is this a stage? <laughs> I had to take a good long look at it before I opened it. I'm just back out here. What is going on? <clears throat> oh, I can turn the pages. Ah, uh, there's us. Secret found. 
The guest book for the hotel, it shows when the crew checked in and when the previous parties checked in before them. I see. So, the 25th... 10, 25, 22. 10, 26, 22. Okay, the Morellos? So you weren't here not that long ago. This is a script? Huh. Katie's getting creative with Charlie's script. Huh. Go for a 360 instead? A hand reaches into frame and rings the desk bell. As intros go, this one's utter garbage. I see criticism, I don't see any better suggestions. That is fair. Criticism is one thing, but at least, like, I mean, that's what I try to do. If I ever criticize anything like a movie or a game or something, though I'm probably guilty of just blatant criticism as well and not actually providing suggestions, but I try to. <clears throat> Tip. Damn. You mean the time that I went in to fix the breaker box and did nothing, didn't actually fix the lights? Did I miss the breaker box? It's hard to see. Oh, look at this room. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What if... Okay, I'm just gonna cancel this out now. <clears throat> what if it's 0178? That's the, the number we saw on the wall. No. Dang it. Find the code for the electrical closet. You got it. Is Was there anything on any of these? I didn't realize I should have been looking for a code. Uh, I mean, like, 1741? I doubt it's that. I feel like it's more blatant, but we might as well try. Okay. Ugh. Can you be a little faster with this? No. Wait, it changed! 0180! That has to be the code, right? Jesus, you got slow fingers. You got slow ass fingers. No. I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I kept looking at this. It's right there! 0451. Aye, okay. Okay, that was an ordeal. That, that didn't take me long. No, 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 I found that really quickly. Don't worry. Ah, God! You didn't go right when I press right! Oh my God, why are your fingers so slow? There you go. There you go. Boom, baby! We have power! Oh, thank God. <laughs> Something from this century. Exactly. Okay, so... Let's start at the bottom. To that. To this. Yeah? Uh oh. Can I do. to this? Wait. Did that work? I didn't think I got that right. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, get your head out of the camera. All right, we've explored this place enough. It looks great during the day. This is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. Hot winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Heavy rainfall? The hell is going on behind here? Take a seat. Oh! Whoa, my red hair is like glowing crazy in this! Whoa! Okay, just turn it on because that's freaking me out. The Barbershop Quartet! What the hell?
You guys are terrible! It sounds like you're all singing a different song. Why did you stop? Is there a secret? Ooh! A tape! I can put that in the cassette player! Ah! Damn it! Why are all these scares legitimately terrifying me? Am I just getting older? Do I fear for my life more? Because I'm closer to death every day? 26 year old me would have been fine with this. I had to build my own little castle. Just like Holmes did. Uh huh. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Oh. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honey pot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops, what do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. Yeah, he did do that, didn't he? That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet, all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was gonna hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. You'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. Damn. That line delivery was great. Wait, so who are we... Who are we watching? I'm sorry, there's so many documents, I can't keep up. And there's so much, like, history between... killers. Just one man. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Should be more than a few minutes. Should be more than a few minutes. <laughs> Thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. Yeah, let's be nice. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. This the Charlie Lunnett <laughs> way. What the hell? Was that Aaron screaming at the doll? <sighs> yep. Uh Oh, so much dust! Aaron. My asthma! 
uh, instructive. Get me out of here! I can't see a thing! Door stuck! Break it open! It's not buzzing. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy! Okay, relax. Yeah, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Aaron? It's okay. Diaphragm, you. diaphragm! You're not hurt, are you? Hey, my inhaler. I, I need my inhaler. I'm gonna ask my tax. What's your room number? I. Hurry! Chloe, where's the room? Next to mine, down the long hallway to you. Aaron, I'm going. Try to breathe slow and easy. Oh, yeah, so easy when you're having an asthma attack! <laughs> We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, yeah. One. She's two, not doing any of that. <laughs> Ow. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I. I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Oh, you're not gonna get stabbed in here, are you? Who's there? Oh Christ, Aaron! He's wearing a mask! This is the premonition we saw! You will survive this! I... I... Guys? Guys, somebody is in here. With, with me. Oh god. Oh, my panicky went up. Don't trust it. It's full of mustard gas. Uh, attack! Right in the groin! Oh, we're dead. I'm so dead. We're dead. Right in the groin! That is not where I aimed! Shouldn't have done that! Shouldn't have done that! You're about to get a knife in the- You're about to get that straight up into your chin. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I just got you killed. Oh, God. Help! Don't! I should have known. I didn't see that that's what you stabbed me with in the premonition. She's fine. You'd survive that. Should have took the inhaler. Well, what was I supposed to know? He could have killed me with the inhaler. What? Where the fuck is she? Not here. Obviously. There's no one in here. Where is she? I don't know. Um... Aaron? Aaron? Then she found a way out. There must be a door or a hatch or something. Way out. It's a closet, Charlie. Okay, I'm just gonna say that's my bad. <laughs> that didn't go according to plan. In hindsight, it seems obvious. Ah. There you are. Hello. I wonder how Jamie will take the news. Probably not well. Just when they seem to recognize how they felt about each other. Uh. <laughs> now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? From the mainland. Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe and it can be frustrating to watch. <laughs> In some ways, I envy you. <laughs> I only record events. You get to That's you guys them. right now being like, Jack, come on! You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Oh no, they won't make a poor choice on their own. No, I'll, I'll make the poor choice for them. Don't even worry about that. Oh my God. Oh! Where the hell is she? She's got to be around here somewhere. She has to be. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm sure there's a simple explanation. She's gonna show up as a mannequin mate. and kill one of you. She just turned around somewhere and, and screaming her ass off. You all heard her. 
Something bad has happened. Uh -huh. I don't know that. Bullshit. You just don't want to let the shoot go, Charles. I, on the other hand, have no problem with that. Something is very not right here. Let's just find Aaron and get the hell off this Finally island. some sense. Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. I'm Charlie Lunny. I'll figure something out. Excuse you. And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. <laughs> what was that? It's Charlie just breaking chairs out in the hallway. <laughs> It kind of is. <laughs> Charlie is thinking. Just looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for <laughs> ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Oh, I guess shouldn't have said that. So the show is more important than the fat Aaron is missing? No way, Mark. Come on. All right, Mark's next. Find her? And we Whatever leave. premonition we, we get, we let Mark go down. Mark, I don't know what's made the two of you suddenly swap perspectives, but Kate is right. If the show goes down, we're all screwed. Yeah, don't care. I'm gonna find Aaron. Right. <sighs> what's the plan? the plan? We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. <sighs> Look, let's just crack on with things. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and square everything with him. I'm thinking after standing us up for dinner, I can guilt him into doing an interview. So Erin is on her own? She'll show up. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Good man. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. <laughs> Would it kill Maybe you he's back now! Just once. I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. Whatever, I'm baby. baby. Charlie Lunny. I'm going to run around looking for Demet. Maybe we'll find Aaron, too. Whatever. I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Yeah. Hey. Absolutely. Hello, Marky boy. Take that camera out and put it to use. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up You the are way, a twat! Right. Aaron has disappeared. How can you not care about that? I can care about more than one thing at a time. Wow. That's you true, know, that's true. Working this job has Wait, made hold me on. really understand what a sociopath is. Well, our show is educational. What is this at now? <sighs> Asshole. 0181! It's a kill count! He killed Aaron and it went up by one! <gasps> He's trying to break Holmes' record! What He's a dirty here? dastard. I... No idea. Hurricane. So many indoor hurricanes this time of year. Alright, if I was Aaron, dead, somewhere, where would I be? There! Jamie. Blood! Over here. There's blood in the floor! Or apple juice. <laughs> Grape juice. Okay, yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. <laughs> what? Who sees massive piles of blood on the floor and says, It's just blood. Calm down. What's a little blood gonna do? Kill you? <laughs> or maybe this is from Aaron. Stop it. You always assume the worst. Stop it. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's our dinner. Uh-huh. Maybe it's our dinner. Maybe we're going to eat Erin. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Uh-huh. Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. Haven't met him since the start of the game. Hello? Erin? Demet? Grantham? H.H. Owens? Anybody about? See? Told you. Hurricane. That's a hurricane right there. Okay, maybe I'll go this way. <laughs> I'll go towards the creepy opera singer. Are you kidding me? Erin! Erin, are you about? Come on, sunshine! Wakey-wakey! What's this? 
was just gonna say it looks like the FBI. Whoa! I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport. That's in Chicago! I, assigned to welcome him off the plane. I will have been to that airport! I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. Look at that geographical knowledge! I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case. The Arkansas. The national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. Did I get shot in the middle of that? Ooh. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> don't, don't you dare just stand looking at a wall while I turn around. That is so freaky. Nice screwdriver, though. Oh, is that your thing? Screwdriver to the face, and then you stick an electrode up his ass, turn his eyes into light bulbs. Whoa, hold on. There's a fucking doubloon on the ground. A doubloony for me, Charlie Lunnett. No problems. Hey, up, sunshine. Don't go on, geezer. All right. <laughs> this is perfectly normal. Perfectly fine. We're not going to die. Not if I sprint. Ha! Okay, it's worse. You know when you enter a room and the sound is so overpowering it feels like you can't see? What's that duh, duh, that I'm hearing? I don't want to go that way yet. Lovely. It's just a little blood. It's, it's just a little odd. Either someone's shitting, fucking, or dying. One of the three. Or all at the same time. Help. You hear that? Please. Help. The fuck? Wait! Help me! That's the yellow jacket groundskeeper! Please! Please! Are you- I'll do anything! What happened? Are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Stop. Oh, it's not Jigsaw! Oh, Charlie! Oh, what a dumb dumb. Just come to lean left or right! You shift your weight off that plate, man. This guy is getting run through by that thing. <laughs> Getting the sneeze is scared out of me. Thank you. Help. Please. Help. Hey, up. Help me. <laughs> oh. Join me. You're, al you're allowed to, like, move your hands. I'm gonna stay. Last time I tried to make an action, it got me killed. Please don't tell me staying is gonna get me killed. Hey! Hey! Oh no! Oh God! Oh my God! Shit, give me your hand. Come on! Damn it! This is stupid. <laughs> Why didn't Jamie do anything? Oh, he cleaned up quick. What's happening? What did I do? We need to get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. How's your nose? Does it smell like blood? Did... Did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? <laughs> Who's a crazy psychopath killer? Oh, you're cool! We're trapped. Now we're Jesus. in serial killer jail. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. Plenty of windows. One, two, three. <laughs> Good effort, guys. Good effort. Solid. Solid. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? 
Is that my internal rumblings? Fuck. <sighs> Was that Shungite crystal? crystal? Don't do that. You keep the 5G away. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. <laughs> it's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Damn! <laughs> Ow! I don't know! She has a protective layer of fire around her now because she just got roasted! Oh, Kate! How are you ever gonna recover from that? Does your emotional barrier from the spirit crystal protect you from emotional damage? Oh! Jesus! It makes me feel better. Maybe you're right. Compliant or Kurt? Look, I don't know who Kurt is. Maybe you're right. Oh, wait! But you oh, have to be an asshole. God, why didn't I just say go okay, with it and take it with me as a weapon? I'm sorry. Oh. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. Ah. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. <laughs> That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Why didn't you go for it? You should have chased the dream! Ooh, I want to be provocative. Wait, I mean, did you ever think maybe of chasing the dream first? And making it work practically second? Clearly not. I'm here, aren't I? Things were already starting to get tough for us. No, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Oh, I stupid choice. Look, he made fun of your crystal. We're allowed to be flippant. That was a really stupid choice, Mark. I... I just... Uh, what do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Hmm. I was honest about my priorities. You should have said this before. Uh, sure. Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. Oh, Hell yeah. I get it. We better go. Let's find Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Oh, should I kept a crystal? Can I still bring it with me? I don't care. I'm more interested in finding Aaron, which I'm sure Charles does not. Just hold it up and. Why do you. I'm out of heaven! What? Charles? Because he hates it, obviously. Yes! I got it! Oh! I wonder how much pure I'm gonna stick him full of shungai! These days. Mark, I think I gotta sneeze again. It's bubbling up, Mark! Mark, what do I do? I think it's coming down. It's not going anywhere! Oh, mother of God! Mark, I've been compromised! I can't sniff out the danger anymore! I'm allergic to dust as well in real life. Maybe I kicked up a whole heap and help and serving of it in this room. Oh, God. Now I sound ill. Mark. Mark, what if we go this way? Who's going around locking these doors? The man. It's, uh, the one. Oh, we'll get Wait. back to that later. The camp What's strangler. That? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. Friend, sister. 
That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? I kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when, they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. Uh oh. What the hell that? I have no idea. It's the rumblings. I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here now, Charlie. Oh, fight the machinery! Oh, don't get crushed by it, though. Heave! Heave! Feel my weight! I can't hold this. this you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now, Charlie. Learn it, Jamie. Charlie. What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. Oh, he zoomed in on your shoes. Ah, it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Yeah, good luck finding those guys. All right. I've got a flashlight, Charlie. Much better than your fucking lighter. Uh. What's going on? His lighter's closed. <laughs> Matt, what the hell is going on with him? His lighter's closed! I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of He just has a flame coming out of nothing! <laughs> oh, Charlie, breaking the laws of physics! Oh, big boy. It. You saw Dumet take off. Yes. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? Oh, that's big, the silly energy. A hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Hold on. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really the Met. Jesus Christ, a firework went off outside my house. <laughs> Stop it. I would like to not be scared. All right, hold on. I was looking for the balloons, but there was a shiny back here. Eh? <clears throat> Mother fucker. Mother trucker, dude. Keep going. That hurt like a um, bunch so no, on a stick. Think about it. <clears throat> if I ever do meet him again. I'm trying to map this in my head. But I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. I think her room's been compromised. Because she's the most easily frightened, the most vulnerable. And Don't you watch her she's got asthma. That's what these sociopaths do. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear a kid voice too. Cool, really as we're walking snapping. downstairs in the dark. I love these like really dark sections with the, the flashlight. A doubloony! <clears throat> Pick up a doubloon, put it in your pocket, and you'll have sunshine for the rest of your days. Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Am I allowed to put my weight into it again? This looks lovely. Oh, it's pig. There's lots of pigs. <sighs> well, you know what they say, you can put lipstick on a pig, but it'll still smell like bacon. <laughs> Ooh. 
Why are they not more observant? They're a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel. Who's this? Stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? That's not Aaron, is it? Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right, of course. Of course you're right. Mmm, yummy. Delightful. Mmm, tasty. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. Stand back, I'm British. <laughs> oh, Charlie! Oh! Your magical flame lighter. Charlie? A magician gave that to him. Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Aaron? Keep it down. Where could she be? Keep it down. She just vanished. Mark, come over here. Aaron's dead, bro. What is going on? <laughs> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Everywhere. Somebody's in the restaurant. He was watching. I know that oh, cool. Oh, well, Mark, he did you dirty. <laughs> Cut off all your hair. Of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of the show. Oh, Kate, he did you dirty too. There's bits of you missing. What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. What has Charlie gotten us into? They're only mannequins. That's how you get killed by mannequins! This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see Dumet, I'm gonna fuck him up. Yeah! Dude, I'm full, like, chaos at this point. That's how I'm gonna approach this. Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Okay, this is fucked up. It looks nothing like me. He completely messed up my hairline. He didn't capture the magic in my face at all. And those eyes? They don't glisten with the wonder of enlightenment like they're supposed to. What an amateur. And I yours? You, Mr. Dumet. Anything? Okay. What do you think? Maybe I should get a picture. Nice. Memories for the scrapbook. <laughs> oh, Jamie, you made you bald as well! You got your necklace down, though. And Erin is alive again! She didn't die, guys! Everybody at the end of last episode, you can rejoice now. She's back in our lives. She looks more alive than ever. Okay, I'm looking for doubloons. Woo, 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 woo. See these moves? Doubloons! I wasn't able to use them with the curator, though. Didn't he say that I was able to use them? Or is it like a main menu thing? Nice, 23. And me. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that dude ain't coming. I don't want to be here, Kate. Why I'd rather leave. Kate. I didn't close it. What the hell is happening? Um, Kate, we're gonna die. Kate, I'm too sexy to die. Hold on, let me get a better picture. Oh, you hear that? Oh, <laughs> he took the picture out in the cutscene. Oh, oh no! I'm closer. <laughs> Dude, I'm vlogging all of this, bro. <laughs> okay. Try not to fuck it up this time. 
There's a weird delay in when I press it. No! <laughs> what? Oh no, it's Kratos' hand all over again! <laughs> oh, Kratos! <laughs> Smell my hand, boy. <laughs> oh, I am the god of breaking games. Oh, I knew it. Jamie! Because I had my camera gone? out. I am so glad to see you guys. <laughs> we have to get the hell out of here. <laughs> what happened? Glad you're okay. <laughs> oh my god. When that wall. I'm so glad there, you're I okay. Might have they filmed this? I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> the net killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. The oh. net? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. <laughs> Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. <laughs> no way this is happening. You know, so in our body... I managed to take the camera out at the perfect time. Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut Bodies it up! Bodies dead. 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 There you go. Ooh, that? that's a real eye. This... <laughs> it's fake. Dude, you don't even a have a lens in it. From an animal or something. It has to be. <laughs> no, 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 no way. I know Aaron's eyeballs anywhere. Ew! Oh, oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. Oh, fucking camera! I hope he never puts it down. <laughs> Dude, this vlog's gonna be sick! Oh, it's locked! What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Put your camera into it. Do man! You wanna play around? Get out here! Right <laughs> and now. now it's gone. Let's fucking play! Oh man, <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you banged your noggin. Oh, what am I supposed to be looking at? to the game I've got to get out of here. No. Really? I thought we were gonna stay. Oh shit. I really need to stop picking things up. Charlie seems to be the one that gets the brunt of it every time. It's just a little scorched. Cage key. Okay. Got it. As in, like, the key for this? Well, that was easy. You're a genius, Charlie! Alright, what else can I touch to maybe impale myself on? Touch everything! Lovely, lovely, someone dead. Don't put it down, I want to see the other side! Chicago killer victim one, cause of death, abdominal injuries. Why are you putting it down? I didn't even press anything! For the love of fuck! Victim's ear was removed by severely sharp object, possibly scalpel. Ooh. And this one? Whoa! number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. She kind of sounds like Scully from Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this There's is... There's fireworks a going off! Weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Uh huh. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. 
very little bleeding. Nice job. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. <laughs> that would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy is learning. Wow, it's fun to learn about death. Uh, I don't know why I'm reading this, she just explained it all. Alright. No one snuck up on me while I took 20 minutes to watch that, did they? KD, contractor's logbook. Okay, can I open it? Most of the crew have arrived in the island and moved all the equipment to the hotel. Okay, okay, okay. What does this tell me about what I need to know? Work on the first and second floors was going as expected. Some equipment has gone missing. File a report and requested replacements via Mr. Belknap. First set of moving walls have been implemented. Started working on basement ceilings. Got it. What? What the bloody hell? What the hell was that? Maybe the hole in the wall, Charlie? Charlie, you're about as observant as a bag of nails. Someone could die right in front of him, he'd be like, What was that? Was that some sort of ridiculousness? <laughs> Are you gonna get electrocuted? Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Never let it fade away. Yep, yep, yep. Can't wait for all this music to get copyright claimed. And delay my whole series, like always. Try to check to see if there's a streamer mode, actually. What about the other one? I'm gonna get myself trapped in here if I'm not careful. It's a little... Ken doll. You don't want to take that out? You fell down the trap too, eh? Well, if I get out, I'll send someone back for you. <laughs> That's what I like. That's Charlie. Charlie lun it to a fucking T. He looks out for you. He looks out for his friends. Is this going to be a back and forward situation? Let's pull one switch to go back through a door, to pull another switch to go back through here. One of these is just going to electrocute you and you're dead. Get a move on, Charlie! Bit fucking slow, ain't ya? Okay. You gotta crate hose your way through this. Uh, shim, shim, shim. There you go, Atta boy. You haven't lost a beat, Charlie. Age has nothing on you. Look at you go! Wait, I didn't even check for any doubloons. Alright, there's nothing. No doubloons lying around anywhere. But if there are, I'll find them. I probably missed like 50 of them already. What's in it? I'll never know. I pick a different one? Oh, righty, righty! How do I... Hello? Wait. That, how do I... Put your card back in. Oh. Ah, there it is. Cheeky. Ah, balloons! That looks like it's worth like ten. Two. That was worth two. All of that effort, ruining my business card. Any more laying around? Okay, this has to be back to where I was. Oh, this has fire on it. And what else can I do? <laughs> oh, hate that! Oh, whoa! 
That, like, red shine in your glasses is so cool. Put it on your eyes. Yeah. Now I'm evil, Charlie. Oh, I don't want to have to shimmy back through. Don't scare me. Don't scare me. Games fucking love jump scares. Go. Sprint. Oh, it's open now. Go with the doll. No! <sighs> Fallen warrior! Can't send anybody back for burnt crispiness. Well, that's fucking bad. You're gonna go in there and it's gonna start filling full of gas and then he's gonna ignite the whole place. I mean, but what choice do we have, Charlie? What are we gonna do? This is so stupid. Well, All that for a box of cigarettes. Praise the Lord. You know that's bullshit! This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. Oh, don't say it like that. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. It's okay, the whole room's gonna light up. Charlie, I'm gonna have to try and get you out of this quick now, and I'm gonna mess it all up. Okay, I don't know where we are or how you knew that door was there. Maybe they can save Charlie. What's he doing? Charlie? Here it comes. Oh, so close. Take off your jacket, ball it up, and then put your hand out. Lift, lift at your legs, Charlie. Lift at your legs. See, I told ya. You're gonna get flambéed. Check the toolbox. There must be something in that. Hey, hey, hello. I'm here. Oh my God, Charlie. <laughs> hello. Bet it smells great in here. Uh-oh. You can break that. Kick it! No. What are you doing? No. Please. No. Wait. I... No, please. Do I get a choice? Please. Whoa! Okay, I thought you were just insta-killed. There you go, the jacket's off, he means business. Okay, I am at a complete loss. Four door lift grate, that door's going nowhere. I mean, the grate's probably going nowhere either. This better not be the decision that gets you killed. Okay, don't just sit down, Charlie! Get up! The grate's up! Why are we not lifting the grate more? Oh, it's hot. It's okay, he rises. Here you go. Here you go! Atta boy! Not just a hat rack! 
Okay, well, don't cover it over again. I don't see the point in that. Did I just get killed anyway? No, we didn't see him die. Oh. <laughs> is, that, is that Charlie? Things are starting to heat up for our friends. Uh-huh. Charlie's goose may be cooked. Okay, so he's not dead. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with. But I think Mark and Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? Great. I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. Beautiful craftsmanship. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. Yeah. What yes. What do you think? Yep. Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Okay. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> he has a brain of the first order. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations, and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. The fuck it does! So I should just stay still in all my opportunities. Got it. Can't. You'd better get back to things. Can't trigger the Best web. Block. If you don't move. That didn't help me at all. Did, did I spend all my doubloons on that hint? Accurate reaction. I could have saved him. <laughs> Did he just... I could have saved him. Whoa, look at this fucking Pro Tools mixing board. <clears throat> what the fuck? Wait. You hear that? Yeah. From down there. What if it's Aaron? No way. Damn it's it. another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. Whoopee! Down into the scary dark hole we all go. No doubloons lying around. All right, Kate, get your shit together. We're going in. Oh, Mark, you put your camera away. That's less fun now. Is this a good idea? I don't see any other no. options. Okay. Easy does it here, lads. Easy does it. We can find our way out. No problem. Oh, your shadow on the wall looks so scary, Mark. Take your time. Everybody T-pose your way through. Where the hell are we? Where are we indeed? This looks like a completely different building. I know, poke around a little. Don't just look at me for answers. Okay, anybody gonna talk over the intercom? That's blood on the floor. Again. It's just a little odd. Nobody cares about blood. Columbus, Columbus Spa. Spa. I, that's what I said, get your own dialogue. He's watching us. You think? 
Well, you just watched Charlie get roasted. Hey, another tape. Jesse Clark. Kind of looks like the guy behind the mask. That or he was just a guy who worked on this and now he's dead. He's got a very home stash. What is it, Merrick? What do you smell? Danger? Keep looking around. I am, but for some reason I can't get past this stupid ladder. You could climb up there. You guys have climbed way worse. Wait, is there nothing else to see here? Yeah, I got it, Kate. Don't worry. Yeah, you can look or you just you just take care of yourself. Whoa, okay. Excuse me, my fair gentleman. Have you seen a doubloon? Anyways. There must be something useful around here. Oh, there can be. If you shimmy! Watch out. Coming through. Crew here. Surely not going to get decapitated as I go around this corner. And... dead. <laughs> there better be some feckin' doubloons around here somewhere. If there's no doubloons, then why am I even playing the game? No. Come on, no doubloons! Should be able to get into that door though. I saw something behind it. <clears throat> Mark, give me a hand. I think we can bust through this thing. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Ah, feel my weight! <laughs> No God Kate mm. What happened? <laughs> Nothing, we're fine, we'll just Stay there. Survive! Just survive oh, that hurt. Hey Ron. Hey Billy. What? That hurt. This this wasn't in the script. I Huh? Who's that? Anything to use? Like, I'm looking for doubloons at this point. I'm not even paying attention to the environments. You shouldn't put me doubloon hunting. <gasps> oh, it's just a stupid business car, but you should keep it because you might be able to open up something with it. If you find all his business cards, you can give him a call and tell him I'm not happy with your service. Hiya! Hell yeah, see that mark? Clean. One-handed vault. So many mannequins. Well, I mean, if he killed 181 people. <clears throat> I quit with immediate effects. By the time you read this, I will have already left the island. Don't come looking for me. I quit. I'm done. Monica. Monica got the fuck out. And rightly so. Good for you, Monica. Oh no, is this her? Let me go! Let me go, you asshole! Laura Murphy. Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh wait, did these have numbers on them? What was the first one? Seven? That has a nine on it. Dang it. Wait, I can't go back there, though, so it can't be that important. Hey, a bird! 
Go get help! Do you think it listened? Woohoo! Hello! Again, my people are not very observant. I feel like you definitely hear like a footstep, a creaky board, something at least. A doubloon! Let's go! This is all I need to keep me happy. Every single one of you can die at this point, and I don't care. As long as. I got 10 doubloonies for that! Oh, as long as I get that, I am happy! Hey, just hanging out. Frank Haldeman. Ten. So something nine ten. Good to see you, Frank. Thanks for coming out. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, what you got? You got some good good pictures of the area. That's all I can hear. Go get Aaron's inhaler. It'll do you all good. Or maybe that's the breathing I heard. Stay close. Obviously. Yeah, no shit, Mark. Oh, God. You the set that up? Happened. You set that up hoping that someone would just eventually come down here? Just so you could eventually pull on that cord? That is messed up. What if no one ever came down here and you killed them too soon? Waste of your efforts. Okay. I don't see anything, Mark. It's very dark with Mark in the park. That's your light? You're holding that thing out as a light? He's like, yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm trying my best. Keep looking around. Yeah, how about you look around, hotshot? Hotshot? <laughs> I've never said that before. <laughs> I did plane. There's gotta be a way through. Just kill me now, Mark. It was only one doubloon. What's the fucking point? Unless I'm getting fat stacks constantly. Just let us be done. Yeah, I'm with Mark. There's gotta be a way out somewhere. There's gotta be a better way. Over there. Hiya! Oh, hiya! Nice. Stretch the glutes, engage the biceps. Don't fall down. There you go. Quads engaged. No point just standing around. Yeah, let's go on a little trip. Across the construction site. Oh, I'm going down again? I thought I was jumping across. Are you mic'd up internally? Get ready to shimmy, Mark. It's not that high up. But you could still fall and die. If that floor gives way, we're all doomed. Be a way out. Yeah, I'm working on it. Don't you see me shimmying? I think I'm shimmying for the good of me health? Mark, give me <clears> a hand <throat> moving this shit. Feel my weight! <laughs> Oh, very last of us indeed. <clears throat> like, I'm gonna keep saying it every time a game does it. If I shimmy through a crack in the wall, it's God of War. If I help somebody up, or I hold open a door like that, it's Last of Us slash Uncharted. And I'll be taking huh. no snark. Oh my god, so much shimmying. 
Frank, are you good? I want to make a hanging out joke again, but... I can't make it twice. This is just laziness. And we all know I would never repeat a joke. Oh... What is this? What fresh hell have I walked into? Monica, no, please shut please. There's a timer of nine seconds on it. So, not only have you killed people, but you've done like recreations of it as well? That's fucked up. I'm not pressing that button yet. Okay, maybe now I will. That's to the lobby. Got it. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? This? You said it, Mark. That is so nasty. Oh, God. Oh, God. She was full of keys. That works out for me. Ryan Hart. Eight, Ryan Hart. I don't think the numbers actually mean anything at this point. But we got nine, ten, eight. And another one that I can't remember. Could be seven. I'm just gonna say it's seven. Spa Master, that's me, baby! You can't get me out of the sauna! You think it opens the door, Mark? This says lobby, but the key says that it was for Spa Master. Oh, it's a master key, Mark. Oh, I got it. Okay! A doubloon! How much is this? Uh, it's just one, isn't it? Ooh, fat one, Mark. That was a heckin' good one. Fat stacks. When we get out of here, drinks on me. Catherine! Coach! Mark, here. Let's move the desk. If we can. I don't know if we're strong enough. Mark? Jamie? Here. Kate. Kate! We're okay. We're acting very normal for we're people okay. who just went through a trapdoor. We found a key. Let's get out of here. Okay. Enough, okay? Stop doing the same one. <clears throat> Hear that? This way. Oh, it went up to 82. Does that mean... <clears throat> There's no way Charlie's dead. Maybe the killer thinks he's dead, and then Charlie's gonna come back and save the day. <clears throat> Running's, running's difficult. <laughs> I've had enough of this shit. What the hell is going on? Well, Dumet offered a unique H.H. H. Holmes experience and Charlie couldn't resist. Problem is for Dumet. Oh. There he is. How did he get out of the basement so quick? Does he have the spy master too? Can you see him? You suck, dude. You're just a cheap imitator. We only care about originals over here. Ooh. Don't touch that. Get hepatitis Guys? or something. Over here. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this? We don't know what it is. I watch the door. You guys look around. It's probably just a game room. 
Yeah, definitely a game room. I bleed all over the floor next to my PlayStation all the time. <clears throat> Jesus! That's not Jesus! That's body parts! It is the stuff Jesus is made out of, though. Allegedly. What the fuck is this? Tomato soup. And bondage. <laughs> you know, a fun Sunday afternoon. Mm, that smell. My God. Well, it's hooked up to somebody and they're alive. Their SPO2 is at a hundred. Good for them. The amount of times I have to check that because being asthmatic is like, am I getting enough oxygen? 97%? We'll take it. Then I stick it on Evelyn's finger. It's like a hundred. I'm like, Fuck you. How dare you breathe better than me? Oh. This is hers. See, look at the tiny spike on that. That's not gonna kill ya. You just, it is top down, it still probably wouldn't kill ya. The human body is extremely resilient. But it's a video game, so who cares? Shit. She could still be alive. In mannequin form. No! Inspect that! Who's in the wheelchair? <gasps> the Here. premonition was me I finding Aaron! I'm just proving prophecy correct! Please be a stranger. Please be someone's grandma. Oh my god, she actually still is alive. Oh my god! Ew! Whoa, did you see somebody behind that curtain? And then they like ducked away? I think they, I think it broke. Oh, that is messed up. Oh. Jamie, wait. Uh. Uh. Shouldn't the thing have been flatlining? <laughs> Special feature unlocked. Dead people. They... They didn't seem all that surprised. It's just like, Jamie, wait. Do you have that ten dollars you owed me? I, I know the it's a bad fuck time. What did he do to her? I'm so so sorry. Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> Don't start pretending like you give a shit now. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here. You two can fight later. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. Hell yeah. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. <laughs> Where should we go? No, I'm not. Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on the line, maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. You, you just said Maybe he can hear you. For help. You There's just talked about it, and lights, you're giving away right? all of your plans. All here? Guys! Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of That's it, I'm killing every no single one, one of them. Gonna believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops. Guys! He can hear you! You just said it! Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! They, they are ah. on. We need to outthink him. We need to be smart. Ah. Immediately. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, why is it so goofy? Kate! Uh. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, game of the year! Best game! <laughs> Holy shit!
Okay, no. Serious situation, guys. Serious situation, okay? Everybody calm down. <clears throat> okay. Oh no, Mark! <laughs> oh, so much for sticking together and not splitting up. Maybe because you said your fucking plan out loud! Oh, you're in a tiny one. That sucks. Never mind. He likes you. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. oh, how did you avoid that with your body, but you got your cameras caught in it? I feel like you should have a massive gash all the way up your back. And he sticks the landing. Oh, I ain't losing my Canon 50D Mark V. Okay. Ooh. That's where you melt bodies. Oh, I'm in control. Poke it. Stick something in it. Stick your monopod in it. See what it is. It's either hydrochloric acid or Gatorade. Don't you want a drink? I do balloons. That'll get you out of here, no problems. Is that a 10? Oh, baby, it squeezes my nipples just correctly. Alrighty. What's gonna happen now, Marky Mark? I don't know. Flashbang him. If he shows up, just stick that in his face and flash. I don't care how much of a psychopath you are, you won't be able to avoid blinking and closing your eyes from that. Okay, we won't go through there yet. Let me have a little look-see. Ooh. Get out that monopod! No, do I not have it anymore? It's it's on your back. I I can see it. It's on your back. Can you take it out to get the box? Ah, I have to look at it. it has a new camera lens in it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I I sh 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 I messed it up. There you go. Ta-da! The mount matches. Perfect. Wait. So? You had a lens. It was on the camera when it fell. And I was already taking a picture. Is this a different lens? Does it... Can I see through walls with this? What's the difference? Oh, this stinks. Oh, you're invisible. Yeah, he's never gonna find you. Okay, I have a feeling I actually have to get up and move at some point. I thought I had to go to the other one! Well, you're not dead, are you? Please tell me I have a chance to save him and that's not it. Oi. Why? Why? Why these choices? Why am I making these choices? Why are these choices happening to me? I 
It's fine. He's still alive. He's just tied up. We have a chance to save him. I really thought, because when I went to hide, it showed two arrows, and one of them was on the right, and I thought, okay, if he goes towards me, I'll go around the side. If he goes left, I'll go over to the other one and hide, because I thought he was going to come back around. Turns out, it was none of that stuff, and all the game wanted you to do is hold L2. That's my gamer brain kicking in, thinking that I have to do these complex stealth mechanics. When I was like, no, you just have to stay still, that's it. Yo! I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement. I mean, the last like four hours beg to differ. So now what? Only one way to go there, Jamie. Aha, your favorite. Okay, wait. I have to start here, there, there, there. Maybe like this? And then you get up to this. That works. And then you go up here. Wait, what connects the what connects this one to anything? For the last time, do not pull the main switch until we get someone out to replace the faulty wall. See, does this mean I've done it right already, or does is it only when I pull the switch that it's all gonna go wrong? If you start here, you can go down, you can go that way, and then you can go up, then you can go there, you can go up, or you can go up this way and then across. Doesn't really matter. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. That one doesn't connect to anything. Wait, but I can't, like, I can't just pull the switch. Oh, there you go. You did it! Good job, Jamie. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Never mind, it broke anyway. We're all dead. <laughs> yes, there we go. Oh, we can just shimmy through. As long as there's no murderer to stab you on the other side. We're fine. Made it, guys. Nailed it. Okay. We're gonna survive this, Jamie. I may have gotten Charlie and Mark killed. Not sure on that one so far. He just put chloroform over his face, which turns out is bullshit. You actually need way more chloroform for way longer a time for anyone to actually get knocked out by it, so... Movies and games and everything have been lying to us for years! But in this scenario, it seems to have worked a treat. Are you Why fucking kidding me? Why do you turn the light off anytime you're going through anything? Ah, uh, this is the room we were in in the beginning. Lip balm. That's a Nivea lip balm. I know that packet. I I use Nivea? Nivea? How do you pronounce it? Holy fuck, that scared me. I thought that was a doorway. Whew. Okay, well, that surely the worst is behind us now. It's my room. What the hell? What the heck? De balloon? That's just a stinky one, though. That's just one de balloon. Never mind, it's five. It looks like, it, it seems like this money has stupid value and it just keeps making it up as we go along. Ah uh, yeah, it was a two-way mirror. Are we, are we gonna do anything with this? You have a screwdriver! Uh, hello? Am I-
It's showing me the screwdriver on my hip. It's showing me the lock right there. You gotta press down on the D-pad. It's telling me that I have to press down on the D-pad. Look, I'm frazzled. I'm afraid of dying at any, any turn. Oh, what the hell? Nice. Murder basement. This looks great. That oh, looks like Charlie Lonnie. It's all looking at the same thing. Which I don't really know where that is. Oh, premonition. The brain. Oh, merciful Jesus. She got crushed in a wall? That is, that's a really nasty one. But I also kind of want to see it. Oh God. Who is that? Ew! So creepy, that's like an alive person. Wait, it's not Charlie, is it? You wanna know what it means to be a killer? You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting, and suddenly it's art. There's no difference between the two. No, not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Like pain. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading begging that moment when someone realizes they are at their end that's when you feel it that's true art that's what you have to be an artist a sculptor an architect I see the gleam in your uh, eyes. It's Agent Monday. Monday. You're not fooling me. <laughs> look! Ah, oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on then. Huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. <laughs> <laughs> Potential Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. Pick up a paintbrush. Uh 
Uh-oh. Dude, I'd be getting everything that's not nailed down to try and use as a weapon. Okay, you're fine. Come on. Oh man. Is that from a uh, Jamie messing up all the fuse boxes over and over again? <laughs> I have like a vanity box, like a little mirror with a light on it. I think. How are you doing, Kate? Like, what's your, what are your statuses at? Ambitious, bold, anxious, insecure. Am I looking at a mirror? All right, how do we get you out of this? Just sprint everywhere. That'll get us into trouble quicker. <laughs> That'll get us to the inevitable faster. Look, everybody dies. Some just sooner than others. Ooh. Who says self-help books don't work? Hey, look at you. Even in the midst of danger, you're cracking jokes. Feel my weight! Come on. Oh. Well, you can't die here, because I just saw a premonition of you watching the other lady die. here first. There might be something useful. Or I'll die. What's this? In case you missed me, Michelle, morning writing AM requested to use the library and music lounge. Can we dine outside in the garden? The bar seems like a good writing spot. Kate can use her pencil to find out what was written on torn paper. Oh. That is not how you do that. 1999. You gotta put it on its side and go. Sh -k 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 -k. You don't. Kate, I worry for you. 1999. Okay. I was nine years old. This is the point where somebody is in the comments gonna be like, I wasn't even born yet, and makes me feel like an old man. Manny Sherman, the beast of Arkansas. Oh, that's a lot of rating. But honestly, I was glad to be leaving. They've been nice folks, the Stewarts. Real nice. Both in their 70s now. Dad's still strong as an ox, having been a military man before moving to the town to settle and start a family. Mama started to get a little frail. You could see she'd taken it the hardest. Mrs. Stewart had made me coffee. She was functioning okay, but had a dead behind the eyes look. 26 years on. Still living in the cocoon of numbness such devastation can bring. We talked a lot. They were at ease talking about anything. The night it had happened, the cruel details, uh, okay. Their daughter had been murdered by a serial killer. Sounds really mean, maybe use kind of words. I don't like the cocoon sentence. It was a shock when they offered to show me Mary's room. I was apprehensive, but thanked them and agreed. I followed Mrs. Stewart. I could feel the toll that the murderer had taken as we walked through the house. Upstairs to Mary's room, her husband didn't like to go into that room. Things were neat and tidy, but shabby. Uh, the strain and financial impact must have been huge. Again, sounds really mean. Can you not just say they had a rough time of it without being descriptive? What book is this? Her schoolwork was stacked by her bed and her childhood toys and dolls were still displayed in shelves. Uh, still hanging in the front of the wardrobe. I keep thinking about her room as I drove through the town. Milton would have been an unremarkable place in 1995, but it was close to lifeless now, mostly boarded up. Go hug Natalie right now, please. 
Later the next day, I finally got back to our house. Scrambling over a package set on our doorstep, a brown box, I had no idea who it was from. Had Michelle ordered something? Curiosity took over and I hauled it inside. Opening it, I found an old tape recorder along with a quartet of tapes. I listened to the first one, the voice unmistakable, it was Sherman. Nope. Mentioned their interviewer. Okay. Interesting. Wait, is this the room with the crying in it? Hey, a water bowl! For Connie! Have a sip! My bearing is updated. Again, these... I'm trying to navigate through it and it's not working. These things almost never make... much sense to me. I guess that's how things connect. Anything else? I need to blooms. Please stop crying, mommy. Please stop crying, mommy. I just said that, Kate. Get your own dialogue. Mommy's never going to stop crying. It's what she does. Because she's on a tape recorder. Beast's body burgled. Ooh, nice alliteration. Arkansas. This week, the body of the so-called Beast of Arkansas has been removed from its grave by suspected body snatchers. The infamous serial killer, whose real name is Manny Sherman, was executed earlier this month and his remains were buried at the undisclosed cemetery in Springdale. A senior police spokesperson for local law enforcement stated at a press conference, We believe this, this to be the work of serial killer obsessor, obsessives and are pursuing various leads. We assume there are multiple suspects involved but have not ruled out that it may be an individual. Although the burial site is unknown, rumors have been circulating among serial killer enthusiast forums online since Sir Sherman's execution. When, uh, uh, when questioned by the press about such online groups, a spokesperson added, These people who call themselves fans of killers are very foolish. If they are aware of the despicable details of such crimes as we in law enforcement are, they would think rethink their views about celebrating such heinous criminals. Police refuse to confirm the name of the cemetery to the media in the aftermath of the news. Interesting. 1999! Okay, easy does it now. Just three nines back to back. It's easy, easy, easy. Okay. Stop crying, mommy. Why is... Why is mommy cry? I don't think I'm gonna like what I find. There you go, Kate. Can't see what you're doing, but sure. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's a real head! Mrs. Morello animatronic. An animatronic of a woman. Real body parts have been used in its construction. It's the woman from the vacation photo. Gross. There are so many secrets I missed. Oh my god, I thought that was Charlie. Charlie's good! And the killer's gonna think he's dead. Now we have the upper hand. Unless he looks down. Is Charlie playing a trick? Like, he's not weirded out by the fact that the clothes aren't burned? Charlie Lunny, can't keep a man down. You're alive, Mr. Lunny. <coughs> but for how much longer? Who knows? Charlie Furnace. Now it's Charlie Lunny, not Charlie Furnace. Okay. I really thought we were going to have to get out of this place as it was happening. Okay, Charlie. Easy does it now. Simple, logical steps. Inspect first. Cool. It's fucking nothing.
I don't want to run into him again, though. I don't want to get Charlie killed. I'm already down an errand. Also, Charlie, I don't know how you survived any of that without any sort of scorch marks on you. You look like... Oh. Well, never mind then. I was gonna, I was gonna say, it looks like you just fell over. When in actual fact, it looks like a fire has gone off very recently in your vicinity. Ah, yes. I can pick lock. Pukuk! A Zeppelin! Why is that just sitting in a box? Oh, nice one, Charlie. Nice one, nice one. That's what we like to see. We love big numbers here. I thought they were going to do a thing where he walks by the thing again. Okay, that doesn't show me anything. A door? Probably no more doubloons laying around. I forget what they were actually called. Was it obbles? Okay, you can move that. Oh, whoops. Easy squeezy. FBI jacket, put that on, Charlie. He won't even know who you are anymore. He'll be so confused. And then we can laugh at him. Well, this is fucking dark. I guess I don't have my lighter anymore? Is that in my jacket pocket? Did he steal my lighter for the dummy? <laughs> there we go. At a boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's the animatronic that got killed! It wasn't a boy! It was fake! <laughs> Not this time. Help. Help me! I can't see a light. A fucking fake. Okay, we didn't get anybody killed. Except Aaron. Uh, should I be pressing things? It's just pre-programmed. All right, try the middle one. They never hurt anyone. Just leave them alone. We'll do whatever you want. Well, that doesn't sound like your voice. No. That's pretty fucked up. He's really living out the Holmes legacy, isn't he? Honestly, I kind of wish it was just us going through H.H. H. Holmes' uh, hotel instead of like a recreation of it in modern times. I would have loved if the game was back in his day. I guess you'd have to know the anatomy if you wanted to butcher people. There's a sentence I said so casually. <laughs> Keep off! Riding in the conveyor at any time could cause serious injuries. Entanglement hazard. Sounds like a relationship, am I right? <laughs> Getting into an entanglement hazard. Remember to switch off and lock out. Stay clear of the moving belt. Evacuate via the immediate emergency ladders. Okay. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to stick my face in it and get him killed. You know what I'm, I want to say? Despite getting Eren killed and potentially getting other characters killed, I'm actually having a good time. 
a lot of the a lot of times when I play these games, there's so much pressure to like keep everyone alive and just do things the right way because people are watching it at home and you want to give them a good experience. But I'm here to entertain, and I think we've been doing a fun series. Hit it, Charlie! Hit it, Charlie! All the time I turn around, all the time. <laughs> Up on! Be careful, though. It's like a treadmill. Oh, God. Just stay down, Charlie! Oh, for the love of Jesus! Could have gotten grinded into a toothpaste. Uh, uh, hide. You can't turn back. How would you turn back? I mean, this is equally stupid. But if I go back, it's a conveyor belt going one direction. Yeah, hide under there. He'll never see you. Don't make me do a heartbeat section. Charlie, what is happening? Okay, okay, this is so... N Why? Oh, thank God. Not again, not again. I hate these sections because it's like a moment's... The slip away from death. Not another one! Not another- OH YOU FUCKER! NEVER AGAIN! NEVER AGAIN! Oh, he's keeping a souvenir. But they're not dead. Oh my god! Charlie Lonnet! He's gonna survive the whole thing. No one else- everybody else is gonna die but Charlie. Garen fucking Tade. Nice. I'm having a whale of a time! Ah! <laughs> Shit! Yeah, same! Who knocking on the door? Oh, it's the- it's the two-way mirror. Figure it out, Kate. Let the brain go five miles an hour. <laughs> ha! Lord above! It's me! Get in here! Oh, Jamothy. <sighs> Thank God. Jamie, I'm so sorry if I get you crushed against the wall. I'm so sorry! What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Are you? Have you seen Mark? No. I've seen Demet, though. He's creeping around. Has she? Have we? Why is my voice all high? Did we see Dumet? Or are you assuming that that's the killer? Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, I'm pausing for no reason. Sorry. Hello, it's the murder police. <laughs> really? <laughs> Quite the killer! <laughs> How did we sneak by that? I don't care what's happening. If you walk outside the door and someone's standing right next to it, your peripheral vision will pick this up. Jesus. What is all of this? He's got video feeds. Recording decks, a mixer <clears throat> big enough for He's time got a Nintendo time. Switch. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here. He's got a basketball court electric, in the back. Everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? He's got a he's swimming pool. Up. This is how he's getting around the house. Hmm. Alrighty. I say this guy is a fractured thing. 
that he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. Uh -huh. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. He's just a psychopath, guys. Let's not think too crazy. hard on it. Thank you, Brandon. I have instructed of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Our maker to proceed. We will keep crazy you updated. Out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. You know, I'm not even going to read it. I'm not even going to read it. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. I get it! At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Move out of the way! Like, low self-esteem? Okay, we got it. Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Huh! Ah! Chicago police! Mr. Monday, this is Chicago police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Uh. Fuck. Oh. Uh. Dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... <laughs> Oh, you got killed! I thought he was puking! <laughs> I thought he saw the blood in my- <laughs> Wait, so... Because <clears throat> I kept thinking about how we don't really have- Everything can definitely be a factor. Okay, okay. It could be a okay. shitty dad just as much. Or an uncle. Uh, an adult figure, really. Uh-huh. I was thinking about the fact that we don't really have a character for who we think is going to be the killer and that mystery is always at the forefront of these types of games but in this game it's kind of by the wayside like who the killer is hasn't really been that important the whole time as an adult he's either an extreme over if you guys are gonna keep talking so am I so what if it's just agent Monday he beat up the the other guy in the tape we heard last time. So what if he like faked his death and now he's actually killing people? He's got a taste for it. What is that? It's a dummy. The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup. There was no groundskeeper. We saw a guy in a yellow jacket. <laughs> their stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. All right, because Grantham Dumet is not who we thought it was. It's actually the killer out? guy. Maybe we can open those right. doors. Right, 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 right. Ooh. Must go up the stairs. Must go down the stairs. What is up the stairs? Probably my murder. Be careful, Kate. Any decision you make can get you wiped off the face of this earth. Uh huh. Over here. That's a blueprint, all right. Look at this. It's all his little tricks and moving walls and crap. Yep. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. Castle. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. Not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. There's a point. Maybe you'll see Mark on it. Hello, Mr. Jimet. Okay, look, he's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay, but how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? Yeah. One of us is going to have to be bait. <sighs> no, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. I'll Let's do it. Him run free. I'd say that. I'm a master at it. I'm a master baiter. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. It's supposed to go south. That's the direction. 
You should take it. I am not- Oh god, do I- Oh, do I take it? Oh god, do I take it and then it turns out that she actually needed it to not die? Or do I keep it with her and then she survives but then Kate actually dies? Or do I give it to Kate and then Kate has to come save me with it later while I'm getting crushed against the wall? Oh my god, there's too many choices that I can't make on my own. Oh god, what am I gonna do? Oh, that's the thing with these games is that any single decision you make, no matter how logical you can make it sound, is going to get you messed up. I'm going to let Jamie keep it. Maybe. I don't know. All I saw was that she gets trapped behind the wall. What if... Oh, I'm trapped behind a wall, getting crushed. Oh, what if the secret is to stick a screwdriver under it? Ta-da! Fixed. But what if it turns out she's getting crushed against the wall and then Kate has to come out and be like, Oh, turns out the safety box is on. What do I do? I'm gonna leave it with Jamie. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. Oh, that's the wrong it. choice. I can already tell that's the wrong choice. I wanted to give you a fight and chance, but something's gonna go wrong and oh god. Okay. Well, Jamie, it was nice knowing you. That's enough of a moment. That was nice knowing you, Jamie. <clears throat> Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Uh-huh. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Oh god, I, I'm gonna mess it up. Alright. Here goes nothing. <sighs> okay! I'm so nervous now. Oh god. Please tell me I didn't just like completely ruin my chances of saving her. That there is a chance. It would suck if that she's just gonna die now regardless of what I pick later on. Oi! <clears throat> Mr. Dumet! I'm out here and I want you to follow me. Hello! Head down the hall. Okay, that's keep to the right. That's the moving wall that I need to be between, right? And this is the other one. So he needs to be in this. Is This is the kill box. What if he's one step ahead of us? What if he's a remote control? What if he's around this corner ready to kill me at any moment? And see, now I'm like, oh, maybe I'll stab him with the screwdriver. But that didn't work out for Aaron, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, shame on you once or twice. Was this on the map? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this is the most tense the game has been. This is so stupid. You're so stupid. Why is this even part of the plan? Why are we even thinking about this? Hey. Nice cock. Is there even anything in this room? <laughs> Fuck! Oh, God, scared myself. Don't shimmy, move it. It's not like you're afraid of making noise, you just yelled. I thought the place was done. It's a balloon! This'll save me. He'll go to stab me and I'll have so many coins on my person that it's basically acting as chain mail. Oh, I'm a fat stack of ten, daddy likey. Daddy's gonna take those all the way to the curator bank. Still have to find a reason to use them. <clears throat> oh! I- Gosh. Oh my god, such a generic cheap jump scare and I still fell for it! How dare you? How dare me? How dare me fall for that? Also, Jamie, this is incredibly moronic. That we're doing this. Just wanna put that out there. If you get yourself killed, up- I, I left you with the screwdriver. Hey, if you get yourself killed at this point, it's, it's all on you. This looks like a detective's office. 
Agent Monday's office. What the hell is this thing? Is this the thing that you put like... Oh, H.H. H. Holmes. Is this, you put like two electrodes on that, stick it to your testicles, and then zap. Okay, he went this way. Shit. Okay, 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 okay! He's got a knife! And all I have is a screwdriver! Hopping over the woods! Going through the door! No need to shimmy! Move in the mirror! God, he's fast! Uh, run. I'm not hanging around. See? You want to get stabbed. Oh, crime any crime any. Oh, come on, Jamie! Uh, wait! I don't want to close it now. Kate, hang on, please! Shh, I said. He just smashes through the wall. Ah, uh, problem! Problem! <laughs> Why didn't it work? Oh, for the love of God, Jamie. Was so stupid. Why did we do this? Oh God. Oh God, he's playing solitaire. Fuck. Well, glad I kept the screwdriver on me. <laughs> Wait, he just opened this door. This is exactly where he wants you to go. Why are you guys falling down? Am I the only one on this planet that doesn't fall down when they try and run away from something? Oh, this is it. Oh, this is the murder room. Oh, this is the kill box. Oh, no, this is the crushy wall. Oh my god, it goes both ways! No! God, what do we do? 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 Oh, it's gonna crush one of them! Oh no! <laughs> what is it? A button. Don't push There's it! A reverse symbol on it. W w what does it? Shit! No! Oh, I should have given it to Kate, shouldn't I? I should have given it to Kate. How was I supposed to know? The premonition didn't show Kate was in it as well. Oh, good one. Okay, okay. The way my brain is thinking right now, and it's going a mile a minute, the fact that we actually saw a premonition of Jamie dying in this means that that is a certainty that that can happen. That she will get crushed against the wall. So, I'm thinking, we push the button, send it back. It might just kill Kate. Or it could be like, oh, you've made the choice. Well done. That was a test. Now you did it. Now the door opens for Kate and she actually gets out. Or she gets crushed into a pancake against the wall and we'll be putting Kate ketchup on her hot dogs later. I don't know. Look, there is- Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this. I hate decision making. I'm sorry. Can I just talk my way out of it? Can I just crack a few jokes? Oh! Oh, what do we do? 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 Okay. I'm sorry, I have to. Oh, that was the bad choice. That was the wrong one. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Look, I put put in the pressure. I'm not good. Ah! I'm sorry. Well, what if it was the other way around? What if I didn't actually have to press the button and Jamie actually wouldn't have died and then she would have actually been safe, but now I just got Kate killed. Ah! 
I hate this. 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 I don't know what to do. It's, it's not on you. You hear me? You go, go! I don't want you to watch. I'm not letting you die alone. Jamie, I don't want to die. Oh, no, God. No, oh, no, God. Die. Oh, God. <laughs> What an excruciating way to go. <laughs> I saw the premonition of Jamie dying, so I was like, oh, that's a certainty. Why, how, how, how am I supposed to know what to do in that scenario? <laughs> God, it's so annoying. <laughs> Oh my god, this this game definitely, out of all of them, is just like, it's a shit show. Just pick whatever and somebody's gonna die. Oh my god, the Aaron one, that's on me. If I paused and thought about it, I probably could have logicked it out. But I thought I was doing that with this one and it didn't work. And I don't want to see any of it, okay? Everybody in the comments being like, oh god, Jack, it was so obvious. No, it wasn't. Unless you bring up a really important relative piece of info that was in a previous video that I just forgot because my brain doesn't work. <laughs> my, uh, my Apple Watch just said that I was in a loud environment. <laughs> that my sound levels hit 90 decibels. <laughs> Around 30 minutes at this level is enough to give you hearing damage. What if that's the reason I have tinnitus all these years? Is because I'm just yelling at myself all the time. God, Happy Wheels actually gave me hearing loss. Fine. Jamie pressed the button to kill Kate. Uh huh. I know they didn't always see eye to eye, but oh, I we saw her eyes all right. That cold-blooded. It's a catchy tune, isn't it? Erin's "Don't Be Scared." No, song. it's childish and immature, and I hate Sadly, it. Sadly, it didn't work. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other. <laughs> Charlie's going to be the only one I get kept it. alive at the end of this. Charlie Lunny coming out on top. <laughs> Mark could be dead for all I know. Oh my God! How have I got the two people I gave killed? You earlier, help. Perhaps you'd like another. Wait, was the hint actually just don't move? Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. Sure. This is from The Man with the Twisted Lip. Have you read it? You should. You should shut up. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. That's not a hint, it's a riddle! You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I no! I wouldn't want them to be intimidating. They're condescending and annoying! I'll be watching your progress, as always. Get out of here, you close to being a closely. mullet weirdo. <laughs> I don't like it, I'm upset! God damn it! Who's this, Kate? Oh, squashed fucking pancake banana sandwich. Maybe she's not dead. We don't know if crushing someone's skull into pulverization is actually going to kill them. Oh, she dead. <laughs> She's so dead. <laughs> oh, never mind. No, never mind. She She's gone. <laughs> oh, mercy. What would have happened then if I didn't press the button? Would the door just have magically opened? Jamie, I'm not doing it. I'm not playing this game. <laughs> Thank you. Would have had another choice, another chance to like use the screwdriver on something. What's he gonna do? Pop the button off the wall? Kill me! Just do it. Just get it over with. Kill me now. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, Marky Mark, you're still alive.
Just... Ah! You'd get that off. What would you rather? Dying or some hurt wrists? Oh, like a bear. Like an absolute bear. Not only did you break them, you broke the pipe. You're a fucking animal, Mark. Oh no, my camera. Okay, Mark's beefy. Mark's like ready to go. If the HH -H Holmes, or I don't know what, the knockoff version of him, the, the JJ helmet. <laughs> If, if he comes in, Mark's gonna be able to bah, right in the face. Knock him out. Look at him! He's taking apart the house piece by piece! He broke a pipe! He's broken two vents! He's about to break the fabric of reality in a second. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, there was so much promise for just a glimmer of hope just for a second. And now it's all gone. You know what, at this point, part of me wants to get them all killed, just to see what happens. Trying to save anybody at this point is stupid. <laughs> Here's Holmesy! Oh god, what should I do? Go out the window or die? You're fine, a little bit faster now. There's a psychopath trying to kill you. I think he, he could be in that room, you don't know. I don't know how you knew that! If only you could have this sense of premonition when you were being trapped inside a wall, turning your friend into a pancake! God, you're Spider-Man now, and he's the Flash! Get off me, you dirty bastard! Fuck off! Yeah, exactly. Kick him right in his serial killer teeth. Roundhouse kick! Oh, look at this dodging. The rain makes it extra hard. Ho ho! You're gonna make me do a heartbeat section, aren't you? What's the point of being able to run away if he has the speed of light on his side? And now he found a pipe! Uh, run. Running in these scenarios has done me quite well in the other games. Because these QTEs aren't that hard. Good lord, he's a big lump of rebar. Oh ho! I've played Dark Souls. Oh, that was a quick one. What? Okay, the pipe was missing. The pipe wasn't even on screen. When he hit the thing, the pipe left his hand, and then when it cut to the QTE, it wasn't even on screen. Whatever. What's going to happen? Are we dead? Just take it away. Fuck this. Fuck try. Uh oh. Yeah, bye. Screwdriver? She's not dead. Oh wait, is she? No, nope, she's still alive. Scaffolding broke her fall. Thank God for the builders. <laughs> Woman down. <laughs> My legs. <laughs> so glad I held on to that screwdriver. <laughs> she's totally fine. <laughs> Is he on the ground already? <laughs> what is happening? I've given up! <laughs> this is ridiculous! <laughs> I can't, man. Do you still have the pipe in your hand or is it just magically invisible again? I don't know.
You gonna make me do a heartbeat section? Yep. Fine. I'll try and survive. Do you think his super hearing will be able to hear my heartbeats through the bushes? And the rain? Yeah, build your way out of this one. He's like a Fortnite person. Cranking 90s. Is he still gonna be here? Should I not have the light on? I feel like having the light on is stupid. And now a premonition? He's still gonna be here! This way. Stop talking. Stop talking out loud. You're not as quiet as you think you are. Oh my god, do I literally have to go through a maze? Like, am I- am I going absolutely mad? Oh, or was that pipe not visible stand. on s- Now what? That's not a dead end, you can climb! I know you just got your legs broken from a 50 foot fall, but... Was that bar missing on screen? For you guys? Did you- did you see it? Fun. I've always loved creepy falling down mazes. Now is not the time, Jamie. Now is not the time. Now it's not the time to be cracking jokes. Let me actually take out my light. I'll be able to see stuff a bit better. Is there anything else I can do here? Oh. No? Okay. That's fine. Oh, homesy boy. Cute. <laughs> no! 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 I, I have a mind to just stop the episode right here, right now. For that cheap shit. <laughs> just because just it startles me doesn't mean it's good. God damn it. I hate that the cheap jump scares keep scaring me. I'm better than this. Ah, maybe I'm not. Hey, look, it's a fucking teddy bear. Hallelujah, we're saved. Thank the Lord, pack it in. Seriously? This is not where I want to be. Oh, uh, would you rather be inside the murder castle? With your dead friends? I don't know how quick a playthrough you can make this if you just try and get all the characters killed as soon as possible. You just leave the controller down, and you don't do anything during any of the cutscenes. How quick? You say nothing during all of the dialogues, and then you just leave the characters during all the QTEs. How quick can you get them all killed? Because I think I'm close to it. <laughs> oh, man. You know when you, like, start the series and you're like, I want to do well? My audience, my community, my bastion of validation for my video game skill are watching me. They count on me. They rely on me. When I play a game, they're like, not watching anyone else. I'm here to watch Jack put on an exhibition. And I start the series and I'm like, okay, time to keep everybody alive. Do, do them proud, Jack boy. And then this happens. It pisses me off. <laughs> It really does. <clears throat> I know he's your son, but I married you for you, not your son. Uh, besides, it's your ex-wife's responsibility to stop him from doing stupid things, not mine. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm maybe just depressed already because of this trip. It's not what I had in mind when you said you were taking me away to a secret island. Uh, I don't care if he is Harrison Lee. I'm so sorry, that was gross. The famous horror fiction writer. You only work for him. 
You don't have to go on a vacation with him, too. Can we spend some time, just the two of us? Dear Kurt, I thought it would be easier to write this down because I get upset when I try to talk to you about it. I'm in distress, but I'm fine with being in these pants as well. You know I don't get along with Thomas. I just don't get why we have to take him everywhere with us. By your own admission, he's a fucking nightmare. And it's getting me down having him around all the time. That's lovely. That's exactly what I want to read after I fell into scaffolding from a rooftop and a serial killer is chasing me. I want to hear about marital and familial problems. <laughs> Why didn't you guys write down, he's weak to fire or something like that? I hope your relationship ends in torture. I'm not having any of it anymore. True love doesn't exist. If it did, Jamie would be happy with Aaron. I need a fucking switch. Can't electrician your way out of that one. Okay, there was another way over here. Let's go this way. Oh, this is a murder box as well. I feel like I'm in a World War One trench. Ooh. Look at all that bog roll. Okay. Up the magic steps of enlightenment. Across the floorboards of agony. Pick up whatever this is. It's a switch. Now that's a weapon. It's like a tuning fork. Smack it against the lump of metal and let the ringing deafen him. Maybe we can get this thing working. Maybe, but I gotta power it up first. Dark Souls shortcut. Hell yeah. I miss Kate. Do you think Jamie was like, no, I don't. Wait, where the fuck was it again? She's like, I don't want you to die alone. And she's like, you don't want to see this. No, I don't want you to die alone. And then you see it and you're like, I shouldn't have been here for that. I really am traumatized for life now. But hey, you know what, Jamie? Maybe your life won't last much longer. You won't have to be traumatized for that long. <laughs> on means on. Bingo, bango. Seems too easy. Too easy, dude. Give me that crown. Back up the steps. And just just start hitting buttons. Who knows what they do? Okay, why couldn't I do it on this one? Here you go. Uh-huh. Mother of God. Investigate your secret passage. I miss Charlie Lonnet. He's my most loved and most hated character in the game. <laughs> you need that dichotomy in life. It's a love-hate relationship, but people are not, are not all like 100% good or 100% bad. You take the bad with the good, and that Charlie Lonnet exemplifies that. He may be a bit of a twat, but he's a twat. If I get Charlie killed, it's game over. I'm done. Okay. What's all this thing? That's the wrong way, Jamie. Yep. Through the hole, not through the wall. There you go. There you go! Simple! There's this weird motion effect on the character sometimes that when they move their hands, you can see like ghosting artifacts all around them. Like you see five times of their hands. I don't know if it's the motion blur they use. It only happens sometimes in lights. Like the torch when I have it on.
Where in the bloody hell am I? Look, Jimmy, no one's gonna blame you if you just leave. At this point, Erin's been killed. You turned around, found her body first. Kate died right in front of you. Like, I get it. Go back, save your friends and all that. But you've been traumatized up and down this bitch. Kurt Hall. Publicist. Oh. Kurt dead. Hey, it's a bloody sundial. What's it doing indoors? Won't really uh, get much out of it if it's if it's in here. It's called a sundial, not a shed dial. Come on, gotta be a doubloon around here somewhere. Come on, really? Weird. This is cool. I like the outdoors area. It's got a lot of atmosphere going for it. Like these, the environments are, their outdoor environments are actually really, really good. I wish we were outside more. But I do. Oh, that's bad. Oh God, I didn't push forward. That's not real. That one's real. That guy's real right there. That second one is real. Ah, no, it's not! That one is! I've been flustered! Oh, Lord above! Okay, just run. Just run. I don't know how your legs and your back and everything works. Axe. Axe him a question. Well, now you just gave him the idea. Now he's gonna use it. See? He's like, I was just gonna... Oh, man. Nah, fire cake won't work. He has a fucking axe. Mm -hmm. There you go, Kate. Or Jamie. Sorry, Kate in the brain. Jump over there. Oh, uh, oh, he was still through the door that he was Dad, trying to get through. Away from me. I'm warning you. He's just gonna smack that. She's fine. She's absolutely fine. She already fell off the roof and she was totally okay. I have no fear in Jamie anymore. Jamie's made of steel. Hey, he does have a swimming pool! Oh, Mark, thank God your camera's okay. I was worried there for a second. Can I take out this? Cool. Pool. Yeah, you're supposed to actually try the handle further, Mark. <laughs> It'll work then, don't worry. Ah, uh, that red light actually coming off of this is really nice. Oh, I love a good dynamic light in a video game. That's why I love Dead Space 2. Dead Space 2, they brought in lights that I remember sitting in those environments and I would just pick up lights with the stasis thing and just fire them across the room and watch the light bounce around. Oh, the early days of, like, dynamic lights. Nowadays, you have, like, ray tracing and proper ray traced global illumination and all this shit. And it looks so fucking good. Very excited for the Dead Space remake. I should be playing it on my channel. I want to, at least. Is this one open? Whoa. Don't- don't make a scare go by the window again. I'm not- I don't like it. Mm. 
Okay, where am I supposed to get in, though? Give me more sensor lights. So I can see where I'm bloody going. Can I go in the pool? Sick! Guys, come on in for a dip! Jesus. Is that a real end? It's a bloody key. Changing room. Okay. I would like to change the scenario from bad to good. Can the changing room do that for me? Well, that door down there I couldn't interact with, so... And this one's all lit up by the environment. <laughs> Clicky clacky, I've got a key! I also have my monopod. What if I stick it up his ass? Oh, Christ. Fucking mannequins. Oh, God. What happened here? <laughs> Somebody got changed out of their skin in this room. <laughs> I'll grab a cheeky little picture. For the scrapbook. What's that? I don't know, probably your imminent death. <laughs> oh my god. Hello? Sorry, were you changing? He's saying no! Oh, I thought it was a doubloon. It's a freaking wedding ring. Harrison and Lewis Lee. Why did the mannequin stop just when I did that? Oh my god, I forgot that you can't do that. H Hello? Focus? God, that was really close. Mark, I'm just gonna say, you're a pretty shit oh. photographer! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I... I shouldn't have said that. You're great. You're a wonderful photographer. I love... your artistic vision. What the hell? What the fuck is going on? Did a bunch of people die in here? Feels like it. Oh, I illuminated the wall and now I can't see. Here we are. Grab the pool net. Stick it over his head. <laughs> Easy does it, there, Marky boy. Oh ah. lord. Oh shit. Ah, you would have been fine. If Jamie can fall <laughs> off the roof and survive, you can jump down a tiny little gap. Charlie Lonnie! Well, my fucking days! As I live and breathe! What a legend! Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh no, Mark is dying. I must save him. Uh. <laughs> what was that? If you're dying or you're in trouble, give us like a. Uh. Don't give us a... Uh, ooh. Nice, a little doubloon. I can't fucking see it, Charlie. It looked like it had an Italian hand on it going... Nice. Got a little toony doubloony. Look at those clouds. Isn't it weird, Charlie, how space ah. is just all around us? Mark. Hey, Marky boy! Where are you at, lad? Are you hurt, are you? Did you take a bait? Well, he's not this way. What about over here? Mark. Scream once for help. Scream twice for double help.
Where the fuck is Charlie Lonnett supposed to go now? Back the way I came. Back into my mother's womb. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm fucking going back down there. Wait, seriously, where do I go? Hello! Oh, I saw like a pair of underwear on the ground. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, maybe I can jump over it. Ah! I can make that. Can't go through it, must go over it. Okay, so we gotta get this. Open, says me. Atta boy, Charlie. Atta boy. And then we go over that gap over there. Got it. I do like that they're trying to involve the game a bit more. Like this, I mean, it's a shame Uncharted and Last of Us do this kind of shit so much that anytime I see pushing boxes around now, I just can't not think of them. Um... But I do appreciate that they've been trying new things in this game, like giving characters an inventory, having certain characters be good at certain things. I just wish the characters were more together as they did it. Like you had four of them together and then it's like, oh, we can't go through this door. And then, oh, Charlie character comes out because he is the card and he does that. And mixing and matching the characters and making them work together a bit more like that would be cool. But I do like having actual gameplay to do now, instead of just walking around. I mean, one would argue this is just walking around with extra steps, but... They're trying! It's nice to see kind of where their games are going. Probably should have checked around me for doubloons. But you know what? There's no time. Mark did an... Ah! In the distance, so we gotta save him. Clearly, he's in imminent danger. Hello? Wow. The ocean, she calls to me. Well, if he's down there, he's dead, Charlie. Wow. Do you ever just think about how the sky is just one big JPEG? Like a PNG moving in the background. Is that a wolf? Okay. I could take a wolf. I could take a single wolf. Or a dog. Fuck it, the balloons. That one's got a skull on it. Oh, yeah. Big fiver. Fourth quid. Back pocket. That dog's gonna attack you. You know what you gotta do? Right in the face. Poke it in its eyes. If a dog's attacking you and gnawing in your nerds, and you stick both your thumbs in its eyes, I don't know if many creatures wouldn't stop eating you then. Oh, I thought I could open this and we were gonna have like a quick escape. Okay, not that way. God, Charlie's turning into Indiana Jones in this level. Oh, it's a doggo! Yeah, fucking fetch. Uh, he's probably gonna come after you, Charlie. I wouldn't talk ill of the dog. If you start going like, who's a widow, widow, baby? He'd probably be fine. He'd probably be chill then. He'd come over and like start licking your face and playing with you and now he's just gonna bite you straight in the ass cheeks. He's gonna get two meaty bites with his big meaty clothes. me a while, but I found my way. That is a massive elevator button. Waste of time. Waste of fuck is space. 
what was that? Did I just see inside of reality? Ah, we jump over, Charlie! What a man you are! Look at you go! My god, are you just gonna go down the elevator cables? What a lad! I'm gonna be so disappointed if you can't fight back against the killer. Never mind, it's just a little ding in the back of the head. You're Grant. Devil a butter on you, Charlie. Whoa! Oh, it's Mark. What are you guys doing? Fuck. What the hell? Charlie? You're alive. With broken ribs. The gang's back together. Charlie, I, I thought you were dead. I nearly was. I'm sorry for that. I, I thought. Uh, oh, uh, look at the boys! I'm so glad we're both alive. Me more than you, but I'm so glad. Nearly went up in flames. I know. We saw it. You saw it on a monitor. The, the whole place is wired. Where are the others? Mark, are they, are they safe? Aaron is dead. What? Demet killed him. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I got us into here? Yeah. Kate said too, by the way. Uh, cut open. Mutilated. Aaron. Jesus. We were all separated trying to get out. Demet has the entire place rigged with traps. We followed right into his game. We have to get out of here. Get back to the ferry. Demet disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually... <sighs> I never thought I'd say this again. <laughs> never thought I'd say this again. How's that gonna help us? Are you gonna light him on fire? You should light him on fire. After you, Marky boy. Joe good. Here we go. Shimmy, shimmy. Nice. Ah, oh, the fog and the trees and the light. So cool. It's a whole second house here. Oh, I thought it was a doubloon. <clears throat> oh, I see what's happening. All of these cards have different jobs on them. This one says he's a doctor. Another one said that he was an architect or a builder or something. Wow. Life is like an ocean, Mark. It's deep, dark, and full of trouble. What was that? I'll, I'll get it. Don't you worry, Mark. I'll get it. Excuse me. Out of the way, buddy boy! <laughs> oh, no! I need to find a way out. It's, it's locked, Mark. I tried. Just climb this. Charlie, you've been climbing all sorts of shit. Surely you could climb that, of all people. Or maybe just use a ladder. Ladders are so 21st century, though. We want to go unga bunga and just jump and climb everywhere. Bare fists, dick out, you know? <laughs> Mark! The door is locked! Love the dance moves, buddy. Glad that they've been paying off for you. If we get out of here, maybe you can pick up a career in show business, but for fuck's sake! Charlie, could you go a little faster? Uh, you might- you might actually die of old age before the killer gets you if you keep going this slow. <laughs> Is there even anything over here? Ooh. Ah, uh, yes. Splitting up. <coughs> The idiot's choice. 
Ooh, premonitio! Fat lot of use, those have fucking done for me. <laughs> Mark, I think we're going into space to beat him! I think that's the only way we're gonna get away from him! <laughs> I guess that's their next game. Because they always have a premonition for the next game. Which is cool! Because now I get to see that their next game is a space game. I love a good bit of sci-fi. I keep wanting bigger developers- Ooh, hold on. I keep wanting some of the bigger developers to go into more sci-fi stuff. I would love a Naughty Dog sci-fi game. Like a horror sci-fi game. Naughty Dog really need to make a horror game. Could you imagine a triple A horror game from them? I saw Hector, seven-year-old, in my office today. He was accompanied by his mother, who informed me that Hector is complaining and feeling sick and very tired. Upon examining Hector, he appears to be mildly undernourished. He is underweight and he has a pale skin. Mother also prescribed two milligrams of diet bad tablets to be taken while three times a day when required. Okay, Hector, seven years old, in my office today. Follow up to a recent bronchitis. Mixing with other children at school. Rough play. He's recovering. In my office today, uh, bruising has worsened. He was accompanied by his grandfather, George. Hector's original bruising has subsided. Grandfather advised that I examine Hector's legs, ankles swollen. Grandfather suspects that Hector's mother isn't coping. Arranged follow-up with Hector's mother. Great stuff all around, guys. Great stuff indeed. Can I not die now? I haven't been following along with who Hector is. I apologize. Mark, for the love of fuck. Why don't you just take a picture of the door if you like it so much? That is your thing. Anyway, Mark, I figured it out. We're leaving. <laughs> Thank you. I was stuck out there for ages. What is that smell? Ugh. It's the smell of success, Mark. Get used to it. When you're around Charlie Lunnit. I saw a dog out here. Yeah, I did too. Actually, Mark, it might be the smell of decay and rotting dead flesh. Who's your head? Two victims discovered with heads switched. What? <laughs> Another gruesome scene was discovered in an discovered in and the crime scene. In and the crime scene? Oh. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a newspaper clipping, so you read it differently. It's not- it, usually there's more of a gap. Another gruesome scene was discovered in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of... something Georgia. Two victims are believed to be a homicidal spree of the imaginary killer. That's gonna hold up in court. Reportedly counted multiple repurposed body parts at the crime scene that appeared to be from the past victims. See, oh wait. One day described the macabre ma uh, animatronics uncovered as deranged creations that are an insult to victims' humanity. I still think it's just Monday doing it. I want to read it the other way. Another gruesome scene was discovered in and the crime scene that appeared to be from past victims. Abandoned warehouse in the outskirts of Monday described the macabre animatronics Georgia. The, <laughs> the two victims are believed to be the uncovered as deranged creations and an insult in the homicidal spree of the imaginary killer. To victims' humanity, DNA is yet to confirm if they are in the two victims. <laughs> FBI agent Monday fact the missing body parts of previous victims. <laughs> it's like those sentences you read that make you feel like you're having a stroke. You. you don't think the two of you could take him? Two strong lads like yourselves? You absolutely would. Pin him down, break his arms, kick his teeth in. Oh, but no, yeah, hiding in the freezer is a great option. 
What if he turns on the freezer and then four to six hours later you freeze to death? Someone's been in my murder shed. I'm gonna find them. Uh, technically that hole was in the roof. Since I got here. You don't know if we're still here. Stay calm. <laughs> Turn the fucking lighter off, Charlie! <laughs> You can just see him in it! No fucking way! No way! Oh god. Okay. My blood pressure's good. Is that because I kept the lighter on? I just kept it on for the cutscene? You can see him in the freezer! Cracked open! You're a terrible killer! <laughs> so dumb. Okay. Well, I don't know how we survived that. Turns out stupidity is key. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, so he just has mannequins of himself lined up in that outdoor area just in the hopes that somebody might walk by who knows what you look like. <laughs> I gotta say, that is very convenient. Oh my god. What? What is he doing? He's preserving his kills. So Mark, about that smell. Because they're valuable to him. The trophies. Hey, you guys... You guys studied homes. You should know. Where's this box the going? Sure seems to know a lot. Do you think maybe we're dealing with more than one person? What do you mean? Attending this place, the weird robots, the traps. Could it be just one man? It's one man. One very driven, very disturbed man. I don't know. Could be multiple people, you don't know. He seems to show up very conveniently in lots of other places. Wait, is this the way forward or is the box the way forward? Yeah, people reminded me, the guy who plays Charlie Lonnet, his character model has been used in the games before, I think in Little Hope, and then the guy who plays him was Thoris of Mir in uh, Game of Thrones. What's all this? Oh, bloody hell. Ooh. 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 You got little toes. Ooh. Hey, I played the mortuary assistant. I know how to embalm this. Where's my troll car? Where's my IV reservoir bag? Is this going to be about Hector again? Subject dead by asphyxiation. Subject washed, freezing. Not required as formaldehyde solution has been prepared. <gasps> you stick the formaldehyde up in them. You clean them out. Early decomposition has not yet shown obvious deterioration. Viable specimen for animatronic in integration. See, I only found out... Oh, maybe there's something on the back. I only found out recently that... When a body... When somebody dies and rigor mortis sets in and they, like, stiffen up, that doesn't stay. They don't stay rigid. Forever. I just thought, oh, rigor mortis sets in, the body is stuck like that then forever, and you have to, like, push it really hard, and everything's drained out and everything. But apparently that doesn't last forever, and actually goes back after a while. I'm sure there's more to it than that, but I just thought you get rigor mortis, you're stuck like that. No! I want you to look at the other thing! This. This is actually an, a representation of what it's like to draw hands as an artist, and how impossible it is. 
Oof. That is a very detailed way of taking apart a hand. Impregnation? I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that in, in regards to a flayed hand. I don't know if you know this, Mark, but ants are a very sophisticated piece of biological machinery. Alright, let's climb this box. Let's end this! Hold on, let's go back this way. It might be... I did blue... Nope. It's another fucking wedding ring. Harrison and Lewis. Dude, that could be... The one ring of Sauron. And I wouldn't care at this point. But I'm glad Harrison and Lewis found each other. But they're dead together now, so... <laughs> What are we going to do? Oh god. Oh god. Why is he just hanging them up everywhere here? You think Aaron and Kate are here somewhere? <sighs> I'm beginning to think you all have asthma. Queasy bastards. I heard a gadunk. Is Mark. Oh shit, that made a lot of fucking noise. <laughs> no one's in here! Get some tools. Get like a wrench or something. Hey, that's where I was! Have you given up on making him walk across the screen and having birds come up and frighten the shit out of me? Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Tip it on down there, lads. Tip it. Oh, I thought that ladder was going way further down. Eric, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, this is where we're going. I thought this is where I was earlier. You got this, Marky boy. Johnny one board is left. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. So appreciate that, buddy boy. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, 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 tipping a bit there, Charlie. Tipping a bit there, Charlie. You've had one too many there, Lonnet. Someone's on the sauce. <coughs> Superhero landing. Did a lighthouse. Let's blind him. Whoa, is that the size of the house? Way bigger than I thought. Um. Hey, Jamie! <laughs> what up? 4 a.m. I'm outside in the rain. Oh, hi. Shouldn't be out here, lads. Should be at home playing video games. Well, I'm doing that. I mean, the character. Okay, is that where you're going? I don't know why. Oh, look at you go! It's close to the ground! Alright, you can get up now, Jamie. Fair play, fair play. <laughs> I made you crawl across the ground for nothing. For nothing. It was so pointless. I'm so sorry. You're covered in puke and piss and shit. And for nothing. Alright, let's just jump over this one. Yeah. Much nicer. Much less covered in piss. Kind 
of surprises me that no one's carrying any weapons around with them. Like, I know you have a screwdriver and whatnot. But... Like, no one thought to, like, pull a pipe off the wall or... I don't know. I feel like I'd be turning everything into weapons. Ooh. I didn't see this. Inferno. Thanks for the day out, Uncle Francis. Okay. Why is this stuff just dumped here? Francis Morello. I get your own lines! Hmm. We've been seeing the Morellos around a lot since the start of the game. It looks so imposing in the background. And look at the moon! Have you seen the moon? I think I just heard mosquitoes. Yeah, that fucking annoying buzz they do. I thought getting outside would make things better. Turns out there's just more places to run and you get real tired real fast. So the lesson is, never go outside. Wait, where's the way forward? Here. This looks like the house in Phasmophobia. Also, I really think I just heard giggling behind me. Who's out there? Is it kids? It's just Charlie and Mark in the background. <laughs> Okay, nothing. Oh, doggo! Is that the same dog? It's creepy looking. Oh. Oh, you got stuck. Hey, a fight for you, can we be best buds and then you can bite his dick off? <laughs> Come on, you dozy dog. <sighs> Big axe. It's okay, boy. I won't hurt you. Rough. Don't let the dog die. If the oh my god, the dog dying would be so much worse than any of my characters. A nice bottle. Whoa! It looked like there was someone behind him. What are you doing? No! I'm not doing anything to the dog! Are you... Are you saying I should stab the dog to stop it from barking? Are you insane? Now... I will say... Oh! Oh, God! Yeah, get him! Get him! No! Oh my God, I ran all the way to this house just to get a dog killed? Are you fucking kidding me? What kind of barbarians made this game? Savages! That is terrible behavior! How dare you get a dog killed? We could have hidden in the bushes all that time. You didn't even need to go into the house. Clearly he had no idea where you were or what was going on. Oh, look at that fancy. Is that the same lighthouse? Are we all gonna meet up? Do 
think they're here? We need to find a way in. What if they didn't make it? One thing at a time. Yeah, Mark, we're not going to make it if we stay around here. Let's get inside. All I can think in a window like that is like 10 years ago, I would get in, no problem, lickety split. Now all I can think about is how much it's going to hurt and how uncomfortable it's going to be to climb through that window. <laughs> I'm an old man. An old, old man. God, and I have too much hair. All right. Charlie, can you take out your bloody thing? No, not your pee pee. This looks pleasant. Lovely jubbly. It's hard to see. The camera's so close to the characters all the time that the flash is just useless. Uh, Chicago PD, evidence 16 to West evidence. At 0600 hours, I, Officer Frank Hooper, discovered that one or multiple individuals had gained unauthorized access to the evidence room at 1612 West State Street. Among the missing items were assets recovered from the oh, apartment of Monday is Hector. Hector Monday, including books, clothes, notes, surgical tools, and dental equipment. Mm. We are currently running with the theory that this was the direct result of souvenirs. So it is Monday. Looking for a piece of memorabilia from the case. End of report. Uh, uh, what is going on? Okay, you're putting it back down. Great. Um. Yeah, so that one we saw about Hector being seven years old and being brought in, whatever. Grand from Dumais. Artist. So he's. That's who Agent Monday grew up to be. Or Hector grew up to be Agent Monday, I meant to say. Um, so he's the killer? Charlie? I never said any of that shit. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumas. I want my team that we did. I'll get them that this weekend, though. Let's do it. I'm such an idiot. I wanted this to work so much, I just accepted everything he said. He recut it. Not a bad job, either. It's convincing. Why would he frame me? Is he gonna try and pin this shit on me? Maybe, Charlie, maybe. But you're Charlie Lunny! Oh no, you'd never do it. You're too much of a stand-up lad. Hector Well on Monday. Okay, you just put it back down immediately. Oh my god, look at all these secrets. Cheapers, Mark! Oh, Charlie's gone way the fuck down. <laughs> Whoopsies! It's okay. He's gonna come back to me when I save his life. We're gonna be the best of friends. But I... My problem with Monday being the killer is that I don't know who that character is outside of learning about him as it's happening. I always like when these types of murder mystery things are like, oh, a character you've known all along and it turns out to be them and you like piece it together and then the shocking twist happens. But now it's just kind of like, cool, it's him. It's I don't know him. Don't really care. <laughs> Mark and Jennifer Edwards.
I'm assuming I got the key to the boathouse. Since it had a little boat on it. Any doubloons? Anything? Charlie, you find anything? Oh, jeez. What's that? Are you hiding in here, Mr. Killy Killer? <laughs> oh! Son of a bitch. Oh. Get dark any day. Mark, what the hell was that? You alright? Yeah, just a stupid cat. It was just the sound of me evacuating my bowels in a timely fashion. Fucking hell. Clarence, I thought I should write you with the news as you haven't been seeing me in six months. You have a son. I gave birth a few weeks ago. I need you back here. I can't do this alone. My parents are helping out, but they're both very old now. Come home, Clarence, please. L Monday. Monday is an L. L day of the week. So many fucking stairs. Charlie, did you get all the way up here already? You and your old arse. Holy God. What are we gonna do when we get all the way to the top? Turn on your lighter and hope that boats see us? <laughs> You're fond of me, lobster, aren't you? If you haven't seen the Lighthouse movie, that's gonna make no sense. I, I said the quote before I realized how silly that sounds. Look at that Fresnel lens. No. Way. You can do it, Mark. Don't worry about it. You probably could have just walked the other way around it, but. Don't look down. Don't look down. Shrek! Don't look I'm looking down. down! Did I come all the way over here for like a fucking doubloon? No, Seven I came over here to fix. I'll commit a federal offense, no problem. It's a federal agent that's committing all the offenses! Okay! If only Jamie was here with her electrical gear. Is that it? Is the lighthouse on now? <laughs> Did I do it? Can't interact with this again. Okay, time to shimmy again just once more, and you'll never have to do it again for the rest of your life. Unless you fall. Which actually would make it still true. What if Monday just came out of the clouds? He just is villainy itself. Ow! God damn this thing! Whoa! Who knew? Yeah, a lighthouse that's supposed to signal boats for miles is bright when you're up close to it. Oh, uh. <laughs> Fuck yes! Woo! Yeah! Why did we do that? I don't understand why we turned it on. Does it turn on the power to everything else? Charlie? Hey, hey Jamie! Hey up here! Jamie! Hey! Oh! Behind you! That Hello? Jesus. Oh. There you are. I wasn't expecting you. Oh, she's are been dead the whole time. What the fuck? Ew. <laughs> the boy who loved scary stories. A selfish monster. Always have been. Hey. I asked you a question. Wake up. The lonely boy loved reading scary stories. Wow. 
He read scary stories all day, all night. Oh, wow. He lived with his mother, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. The boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. I thought some of this would rhyme. The book gave him an idea. Revenge. The boy sneaked through the house. Hee <laughs> hee. And he turned into the devil himself. He jumped and shouted and frightened his mother. Ra! Ah! Boo! He loved scary stories. Ha 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 ha! That was garbage. <laughs> Always right for your favorite page. Predictable little shit. Okay. I know you. Grandma's a bit of an ass. Because I was just thinking we haven't seen the grandmother in a while. She was at near the start of the game. Now it makes sense that she's just been dead the whole time. Mark? Can you hear me? Where the hell is he? Stabbing the shit out of him in that room. Oh, thank God. It's only you. Help him! You okay? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. <laughs> that light proved harder than he thought. It beat the shit out of him. Mark. What happened I, to you? No! I... Oh, there's three of you. Yes, Charlie! Charlie Luna is a man of action. Maybe pick up the fucking axe that fell down and stab him in the face. <laughs> Now's not the time, Mark. Keep walking. Where's Kate? We have to keep moving. Where is she? Mark, I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot that she died <laughs> and I had to tell you guys about it. She's fine! She's sipping, uh, Prosecco! A Negroni. Spagliato. With Prosecco in it. See, you might think you have loads of time to get away from him, but him walking is actually the speed of you running four times faster. Let's get to the boathouse. I have the key. Let's get in the boat and get the fuck out of here. Look, if I can just keep these three alive, I'll be happy. I don't need any more than that. Wait, are we saved? Oh, the state police is gonna get killed. It's gonna be like, what's the problem? He's gonna show up and be like, sir, put down the axe. Sir, sir, and then dead. I'm authorized to use lethal force. If you do not comply... Oh, is he hiding under the bag? What the hell? Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Hands where I can see them! All of you! Oh, no! No talking! I said hands where I can see them! Thank God you're here. You have to help us. I have pictures. Until I know what's happening here. Oh, he's so dead. No one oh, knows. come on. Behind you. Shit, behind you. Seriously, lady? <laughs> oh! Bye bye, hand! It can still shoot him! <laughs> oh no, my bear spray! God, he's strong! There, let's go! Get the gun! Get the gun! 
This is a terrible idea. This is a terrible idea. Okay, time to fucking leave. Aha! Bear spray! It works so well in the quarry. Sorry, police officer, dude. <laughs> Come on. This way. This way. Work. Let's go. Oh, it's not a boat house key. It's just the boat key. Oh, it's dead. Poor choice of words. This better work. Oh, you're an electrician. I forgot. She knows how to do that. It's the multimeter. Hey, Connie. Good to see you, boy. Come on. Hurry. <laughs> oh no, he's walking at the speed of slow. What are we going to do? Oh, motherfucker. Yes, for it. I thought he was gonna stick it in the boat and then he would follow them like, uh... Terminator in T2, the liquid terminator. Surely we're good now! I see, so we turn on the lighthouse to get the cop to come over. But lighthouses aren't like a, an emergency thing to be like, hey, come look over here. It's just so you won't hit the island. I swear, is he Maybe. going to be stuck to the boat? Thank God it's over. Is he going to be on the boat? Not all of us made it. This is where our friend. Ah, for fuck's sake! Come on! Kick him in the face! At least he didn't kill the dog. Oh, Connie! Oh, we're all jumping for it. <laughs> okay, give me the next one. Yes! Yes! Let's see that beautiful face. Uh, or not. Feel my power! No, for the love of God! Where's Jamie? Okay! Don't just stand there looking at me! Attack! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! What was that? The controls are garbage! Don't you fucking dare kill him now! The red showed up and then I went back to where the red was and it didn't fucking show up again! Oh my god! Oh my god, so annoying! Yeah, bear spray! Yeah, right in his cut. Oh, give him the Kratos. How did that stick in him? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby! You're going into the blimey deep. Nice. Wait, but Charlie's still... If he comes back again... Oh, iceberg ahead! Oh my god, I'm scratching my nose. That's what I saw! I saw the ending at the beginning! So he's just dead and I never get to see his face. Hey, 
song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. We have a nonstop block for your favorite. I know food. After this break. <laughs> no damn commercials. This is like the start of Resi 2. Oh. oh shoot. Shit! <laughs> Messi just drives over all three of them at the end. All of my efforts gone for nothing. And I looked up, and there they were just in the middle of the flipping road, waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazies. Where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I'm trying to get into the port. Hey, at least I like, saved those three Probably and not the dog. Make that now, am I? I'd say likely not. If only she did a big puff, she would have survived. Need a smoke, buddy? <sighs> yeah. Actually, I think I'll quit. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to quit. <laughs> yeah, that fire room is enough smoke inhalation to fill a lifetime. That it? Hello! Did I do okay? Or are you just gonna belittle me again? You ro- Oh. You're crossing through it. What is happening? End of season one? Good things must come to an end, but how good was the end for our crew? Unfortunately, you lost a few of them. Couple of them. So rest in peace. Kate, it's a final close up and cut. It's a wrap. <coughs> and Erin, the new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone to the great audio suite in the sky. <sighs> what about those who survived? <laughs> Has the experience changed them? Jamie learned that she had to trust other people and work with them. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. Uh -huh. And Charlie finally quit understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. This is just Mozart playing in the I'll background. I'll the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? Ooh. It was, as always, enlightening. I dropped my controller. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. I found it. 
that way. Bye! Yeah, so that was the end of season one for the dark pictures. Don't tell me he's still alive. Is that him grabbing the it or another copycat? Are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render eight. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them sadly did not survive thankfully their ordeal is now at an end holy shit remember how my video went viral how could we forget if you bring it up every chance you get just listen to this i got enough views to win a competition what did you win an all expense pay trip to an island resort for five now i'm interested yeah mr dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything this is gonna be so much fun. He's in the window! <laughs> Come on, man. He survived all of that. Sure, fine, whatever. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Ah, oh, oh, that's fun. I like that. Oh, oh, Won't you spare me over to another? Oh, what is this? I cannot see when I see hands taking hold of me. The guy in the right is broken. <laughs> oh, death and death not can excel. I open the doors to heaven and hell. Woo! Yes, I have come. Nice. So what? An absolute journey that was. Oh my god. That was all over the place. I, look, I had a great time. I had so much fun playing this episode of The Dark Pictures, but I can say that I don't think it was very good. <laughs> I had fun for completely different reasons. Like even me getting mad at the game, that's fun. But, it just seems to be the problem with a lot of these dark anthology pictures is that it's great premise, sloppy execution, and never a very satisfying ending. I, I keep saying like, I don't know if I'll play the next one, but then they showed me that it's a sci-fi one and it's in space, and I'm like, ah, damn it, you know I'm gonna play that. Uh, but that was it for season one of dark anthologies. I do like that they're trying different things. I do like that, like the moving boxes, Having everyone have a spe specific item, one is a flashlight, one is a lighter, a card, the monopod. I think there's a lot of room for improvement with those aspects. And I hope that they branch into that more. Because I, I know that these games are known for like their crazy deaths and anybody can die at any moment. So like really pay attention and all that. But some of the deaths in this one felt really cheap. It feels like you can just die at any moment because they think you're going to play the game again and again and again. But I I just do one series of it, so when people die sort of unsatisfyingly or it feels like it's a bit unfair, then it just kind of annoys me. But again, that's just my opinion. I just wish I was a bit more attached to the characters every time because when things happen to them, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm more annoyed that I let them die for the video game aspect of it and for the episode rather than like feeling like I missed out on a fun character. Actually, Aaron was nice. I liked Aaron. They, do they have a trailer for the next game? This is Commander Stafford, the forward reconnaissance vessel Cassiopeia. 
After successfully rendezvousing with a curb disc marker, we have detached the booster ring and spurts a high as we make our final approach to Tau City F. The ship has suffered a hull impact, but damage is minimal, and our technicians are restoring full functionality. This is Thomas Carter. Something's wrong with Sims. She's trying to kill me. Nice. Our next transmission will be broadcast from orbit around humanity's future home. Staff it out. No. Directive 8020. Just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Oh, that one looks cool. Oh, yeah, I'll play that. That one looks dope. I do kind of wish we just played as Holmes in his murder castle, though, in the 1800s. But it is, I, because they leaned into, like, doing an actual serial killer this time. H.H. H. Holmes is an actual serial killer, which, who had the murder castle. Evelyn's been filling me in and everything, because she loves uh, the H.H. H. Holmes stuff. And, like, all of that stuff happened. His, his whole place where he killed people didn't have, like, elaborate vanishing floors and spike traps and gas chambers and, like, all of this elaborate shit. But it is a place that he would kill people in. Um... It, the story has just, like, exaggerated itself over the years. He didn't kill, like, 200 people. I think people are now saying it was closer to 20. But other than that, I still had fun with it. I still had a lot of fun recording these videos, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well for the entertainment that was in it. Sorry, I got two of them killed. What are you gonna do? It happens. But that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. A doubloon. I found a doubloon! A doubloon! Doubloons! A fucking doubloon! A doubloony! A doubloony! A doubloons! A doubloon! Let's go! This is all I need to keep me happy. A doubloon! A doubloon! A doubloons! Doubloon! A doubloon! A doubloon! Nice, a little doubloon. Fuck it, doubloon.